Hey everybody, what's happening? It's your friends with Slices and hey. Dices. What's going on? And we're ready. We're psyched. We've been waiting a, a while to make this thing a reality, and it is now time uh, to just go full bore on the Terminator RPG. This is a one-shot uh, that our friends at Nightfall Games made available in the Quick Start, um, or as a Quick Start, uh, but just just directly, I guess this week or so, they're starting to actually ship out and publish the actual uh, core rule set for the Terminator RPG, which comes with a whole bunch of stuff if you went in for the Kickstarter. Uh, it comes with dice, it comes with like a, a director's rule book. It comes with all kinds of stuff, which uh, is awesome. It comes with the PDF, for those of you guys who would sort of like go at the, at the lower levels. Um, and uh, if you check out their Kickstarter, I think that they're probably also a still a late, uh, a late buy-in for that kind of stuff too. But nevertheless, it is time to go with Terminator. Now, uh, the last time we checked in with our folks, we had five players. Uh, unfortunately, uh, our fifth player, uh, Mike, uh, also from our, our friend over here uh, at Mates of Fate, um, Ashley. Um, Mike had Mike had an illness. We're sorry to see that he couldn't make it. That's totally fine. Uh, we will search forward uh, and uh, and kick some butt. So here we go. Um, we are we are at uh, at places, so to speak. Here we go. Uh, places. <laughs> places. Yeah, we don't need that. That was last week. <laughs> so. <laughs> check the clips. Yeah, check the clips. Oh my gosh. Um, but so, not right now. Right. Thank so what I'm going to do very quickly, just because we want to sort of get right into the action for Terminator, as as you would expect for this kind of stuff, is to just do a quick once around uh, of who here is at the table, and uh, and then we're just going to go straight in. So uh, I'm going to shoot it over since I already mentioned her is Ashley over there. Ashley, go ahead and give us a, a roundabout of where you're at on the internet. Hi, thanks for thanks for having me. Oh my gosh, I love you guys. I am moving in. I used to be on Mates of Fate. Now I'm on Slices and Dices. That's all right. We've got um, plenty of rooms. <laughs> if you want to check out my home game, I play with my friends on our Twitch stream, Mates of Fate. Uh, we play twice a week. We have two homebrew games of D&D &D 5e that we play every single week, almost, on Thursdays and Saturday nights. We play Songs of Creation and then our seafaring campaign, Artema, on Saturday nights. Or you can join us on our on our Discord. That's a good time too. Whatever, go to matesofate.com. You can get all our socials and our links and stuff. But thanks for having me. I love you guys. Solid. Thank you, Ashley. Moving on down to Sarah. Go, Sarah. Hi, I'm Sarah. You can find me on the internet, uh, on Twitter and Instagram at Lovely Llama, and here on Slices and Dices a lot of the time. Fantastic. Thanks, Sarah. Uh, moving on. Easy breezy. <laughs> uh, moving on past the awesome art, which you'll see directly below me, uh, over to Red. Red, where can people find you on the internet? Uh, you can find me in most places, though I don't post, so good luck in trying to figure out if it's actually me or not. But I'm mostly active on our Discord. All right, cool. Thank you, Red. And then finally, uh, we got Scepter right here uh, to my left. Go ahead and Scepter and tell us where you're on the internet. Oh, you're muted, buddy. You're muted. Oh, 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 oh. Where is his voice? Son of a there we go. It's all good. Go. <laughs> Sorry, that, I was there. You'll find me. That's his intro. Just son yes. of a. <laughs> <laughs> go, Scepter. But yeah, you'll find me on Twitter, I can't remember where I'm always posting randomness, art, and you'll definitely find me here on Slices and, and Dices, like, a majority of the time. Fantastic. Just, 
hey, I have my fans. No, oh, you, you have them. I am uh, one of them. <laughs> cool. All right, so here we go, folks. Uh, this is a, a, a one-shot scenario for the Terminator RPG that comes as part of the Quick Start. We're going to be playing it with a mixture of the Quick Start rules and of the new rules that come with uh, part of the core RPG. Um, the, the, there is so much amazingly cool stuff that you guys can create your own campaigns with in this core RPG, um, as well as a number of horrendous uh, foes to face off and weapons to use. Um, it takes place in multiple different timelines, right? Because fate is what you make, as the, as the movies say. Um, so you can interpose yourself at different places within the different Terminator timelines. Uh, nothing is necessarily uh, canon, per se, uh, after terminator the first movie uh it's worthwhile noting that um so that said um i'm going to introduce you guys this in this way first of all welcome to the terminator rpg and now we're going to just sort of close our eyes for a sec and we are going to pretend as we often do with role-playing games that we are in a dark dystopian future The year is 2030. The four of you have been fighting the machines for so long it feels like an eternity. And only amongst the four of you have you been successful. Sure, there have been others. But they've... Well, they've... They've been missed, unfortunately. The machines did what they do best. Took them from you. But that won't stop you. No, nothing will stop the resistance. Skynet. The m massive uh, computer at the heart of the machines, something that you've never really encountered directly, only sort of heard whispers of it, is, 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 it's, it's immeasurably smart, immeasurably, uh, it, it can't, it can't be even kind of garnered in your mind that there would ever be a way to fight against it. You just have to f sort of take it day by day and gather whatever kind of, whatever the kind of friends and, and, well, you can't really call them friends anymore because putting too much heart into something just eventually disappoints you. Now there's just the four of you. There's Minguez, and there's Davis, and there's Bassett, and there's Tony. And, um, very quickly, I would like the four of you to just give me a quick description, physical description, um, of your characters. Let's go with Bassett first. Bassett is tall, um, never very well shaven. He's a he and him. Uh, tired, always has a smoke in his mouth. Pretty calm demeanor, all things considered. Um... But overall, it takes a lot to rattle Bass. He's, he, he's pretty cool under pressure as long as he goes, folks. And how about Tony? Uh, Tony is, uh, he's sort of a small, ropey, muscular, but not in an I go to the gym way, more in uh, I could probably climb up a pile of rubble faster than anybody else kind of way, and nobody would notice me going. He, uh, he was a British Sikh Muslim back when that mattered. He still keeps his beard and his turban, but, you know, not much place for religion in this world. And, uh, he's the guy with the knives. He does the dirty jobs, and you can see in his eyes he's done a lot of them. Right. And Davis. Uh, I think the best way I can describe Davis is he's definitely the egghead. Um, he's very well educated. He's definitely smart. Rather, he's definitely like not combat focused for sure. He's just—it's all about the smarts. 
has to know how to work like hex stuff, especially given how the war is. And that kind of stuff is rare to come by apart from like the usual like grunts and soldiers you come across on the field. And finally, Minguez. Uh, Minguez is, um, well, she, before the future war happened, she was a female mechanic. And then, well, the war happened. And, well, she found a secondary interest, explosives. But because she found that secondary interest, and being pretty new to explosives, she did lose a few fingers in the process of learning. But she's been with the... Uh, she's quite the... Smart one, and, but not as smart as Davis. But she's more into the tactics, and... So she fell into the commander role. Okay. Uh, yeah. So the, the four of you were brought together under the command of one man. And that man is uh, Colonel Miroslav. Miroslav is a very charismatic leader of the resistance. Some say uh, that if John Connor were ever to fall, that Miroslav might be second in command. Um, but Miroslav found each of you in turn, and helped you survive your first few engagements during the war. Um, but it's only been, oh, I don't know, a day or two since any of you have actually seen Miroslav. You were under his command um, as a squad. Uh, you've been sort of teamed up with Techcom and other groups within the Resistance. Um, but now, at this time of night, you've caught word from some of the other troops. Something big is coming. People keep talking about something about time, going through time. Others talking about some kind of a machine that could help Skynet win the war before it's even started. None of this makes a lot of sense to you, even to you, people like Davis, or people who have sort of a, a, a greater grasp of the overall continuity, until you sort of grab the ear of one of the soldiers of the Resistance who says that there's been an intercepted communique from Skynet that they're planning an offensive and that they're actually going to send their machines back in time somehow. And part of that offensive is sending Terminators to take out the hidden armories that John Connor will use to equip his troops in the early days of the fight back. Now, without the means to stand against Skynet's tidal wave of murderous metal, the war will be over before it's even begun. So, it's at this point in time that the Resistance plans a surge forward. You all are on a battleground, in a foxhole, hearing the sounds of battle waged around you. You are grouped together and there is uh, over the din of uh, immense laser blasts and plasma and explosions and HKs flying to and fro and the sound of tank treads from the enormous machines that are attempting to surge forward and are attempted and, and, and fail uh, to do so by being blown to smithereens there is an enormous explosion nearby. And this explosion, sort of all four of you have to grab for your ears, even though helmets are still on them. 
and it, it sort of shakes you back to something like alertness. You, you sort of taste metal in your mouth, you, blood from where you might have bit down on your own tongue. And you hunker down in this crater, ash between your fingers that you know is the pulverized bones of the dead, fumbling for your weapons. Shells detonate nearby, showering you with filth and the pulped remains of someone that you were probably friends with. You can feel the wetness of ruined flesh slap against your face. Nearby, there's the rumble of one of the machine's hideous tanks. And then, from beyond, you hear them. You hear the servos of the T-800s coming. And you look over the ridge from where the smoke has cleared, and there are two metal motherfuckers, two T-800s, and their beady red eyes swivel in your direction. I would like you all to make a detect check. Ooh. Does this involve or, hearing? It, uh, let's see. Let me just double check on that. And... Oh. Let me see. Uh, no, it in, it in, it it, okay. it uh, requires visual acuity here. All right. So show me. So the what's our target number? Uh, your target number is a seven. Seven. Yes. Okay. Uh, success dice small pair zero. Yes. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I think I did that, right? There you go. Okay, so um, everyone but oh the irony. That's exactly. Um, everyone Everybody but the, the, the scout text. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I would say Bassett. You notice it first. I've got I've got like flesh in my eyes. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> so much uh, hair and and uh, blood and viscera. Um, Bassett, you notice it first as you look down. Um, at these Terminators who are maybe, I don't know, a hundred feet from you, you notice that they're pretty banged up, that their arms are sort of, um, bla you see blast points on their arms, um, their heads have sort of large sort of shattered craniums, um, they're smoking, um, and they're sort of walking with a little bit of a, a, a jiltedness to them, um, which indicates that they've probably been damaged, but you know what Terminators are like, even when they're damaged, they are still a massive foe to be contended with. So, with that in mind, I'm going to move you guys to the map. Graciously given to us by our friend Jasper Nilsson Seren. Ooh, that is a pretty map. Let me move nice. the, the viewers to said map so they can see exactly what we see. I'm in danger. <laughs> So, oh. there the four of you are, and if you sort of go all the way down here, you see there is a Terminator over here, and there's a T-800 over here. So, with that in mind, I would like us all to roll initiative. Hey! Let's do this. Let's do this. Hey, click on the token and roll initiative. And that's actually an 11 for me. Because I am a scout, I get a plus one. Okay, I'll make yours an 11, Tony. Excellent. Oh, let me actually rejoin as a player so that you guys don't see all the things that... Uh, in chat, anyway, that uh, that I would see. That's don't worry, I don't have my glasses on. Oh, I know, I know, but there are surprises. There are surprises, as they always uh, are here on Slices and Dices. So, let's go with that. And uh, let's have our friendly Terminators roll initiative. Okay, wow, they have a big initiative bonus. Okay, yeah. How 
do we, okay. I forget, how do we settle initiative ties in this system? Uh, re-rolls, or, oh, uh, sorry, it's, it's, um, it's, uh, oh, I had it, I had it. Uh, it was in my rule book. Uh, ties, I think it might be detect, uh, either your detect skill, I think it's whoever has the higher detect skill. I have to take a look at my rule book. If you want to take a look at, uh... So what's your detect skill, Tony? I'll, I'll double check uh, on my total character. Or total or just my rank? Just your rank. Initiative. Just my rank is two. Yeah, my rank's two as well, I'm so... Gonna double check. It might be detect. Uh, initiative, initiative. Tactics, sorry. Tactics skill rank. Tactics. Uh, I have... Is it the? Is it just your rank or the total? Well, technically, initiative is your dexterity plus your concentration plus your tactics skill rank. So if ever if there's a tie, oh, okay. um, I got two for tactics. Then yeah, I have zero for tactics. Then so there, yeah, two. I would think that uh, that Minguez would go that first then. Well, technically, Davis goes first. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. How are we doing, Bassett? Did you roll initiative for us? Uh. I did. How come mine didn't show up? I uh, you have to click on your token. Ah, yes, the the inevitable. That's all right. Uh, I got you. Sorry. That's all right. I got you. I got you. No worries. I will add you. And Thank you. No problem. No problem. Uh, you got a nine. Yes. Okay. So with that. Here, I'll make me ten. I'll make me ten points. Yeah. It, ten it doesn't really matter because I've got you in the in order. In the order. Well, it, it resorted us. Oh, uh, yes. Good point. Perfect. Okay, cool. Um, so with that, of course, the way initiative works, uh, if you saw our session zero, is the person who is the lowest in the initiative order declares what they want to do first and then follows suit to the top because they get to react from that person's declaration. So, Bassett, what would you like to do upon your declaration? Is there, is there any room in this declaration for conversation or flourish? or Absolutely, yes. Uh, yeah. You, you can converse within, I think, each round is uh, three seconds. So you can make a make a three-second quip. Yeah. Yeah, I'll quickly turn to Minga and say, they're looking beat up, man. What do you want to do? Okay. All um, right, I'll aim. All right, yes. aim it is. I'll tell you what I want you to do when it comes to my yeah. turn. So. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, Tony? Tony. You're with us, Tony. Oh, sorry. That's uh, all good. <laughs> I'm looking around. Is this crater over here hideable? No. You are in the only hideable place for a very large distance. gonna step forward and over these sandbags take aim at this guy. Uh, the one on the left or the one on the right? Got the it. One the one on the left. Aim. Superb. Yes. Alright. Aim it is. Alright. Moving on. Uh, Minguez? Uh, Minguez will probably use try and use her tactics and just say focus fire on the left one. Okay. And Davis? Probably nervous as hell, but gotta follow suit and take aim at the one on left. Superb. Y'all are aiming. Okay. Um, with that said, uh, the Terminators will move their speed as they move inexorably towards you. Um, they will move actually kind of pretty close, actually. Uh, they have a oh. speed... Yeah, they, although they are damaged, they have a closing speed of two and a rushing speed of five. So you, ever see, you always see the movies where they're just like walking like slowly. Um, and then of course there is the sort of the, the scene in, in the first Terminator where the Terminator is literally just sort of like limping. But you could tell that if this thing was like running, it would run at you. Um, and they are carrying uh, plasma rifles in the 40 watt range. So, uh, the Terminators both run their speed five, uh, at your position. Davis, you have aimed. Minguez, you have, uh, talked about tactics. Tony and, yeah. uh, sorry, and Bassett, you have both aimed. Do you want me to roll? 
do a tactics roll? Uh, well, your tactics are to just aim at the, you know, focus fire on this guy, on the, on the one on the left. Yeah. You haven't actually done any action, per se. Yeah. Okay, so I that's the... I didn't know if you nuts. want me to go into successful... That, that's it. You just see these Terminators running at you, and you're like, fuck, shoot that one on the left. Um, and that's it. That's the first round. Pretty simple. Bassett, declaration, please. Uh, ask, uh, Bass. <laughs> so this is the part where I do the thing that I said I was going to do? You sure can. I mean, are you going to shoot? I'm assuming you're shooting because you're aiming. Oh, declare you're going to shoot. Because you aimed last round, so. Okay, so it's a brand new round. Yep. Sorry, I'm mm -hmm. rushing. Yep. All good. New round. Um, yeah, I don't think my weapon can aim more than one. It'd still be decent. All right, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll pop off a shot with my assault rifle at the one on the left. Okay, so are you doing, uh, your your assault rifle has uh, different types of um, fire rate? Yeah. So what are you going to shoot, I mean, yeah. and what fire rate are you going to shoot? Because that affects recoil uh, as well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I will do a free burst fire. Okay, so that will give you a recoil of one, which will okay. uh, subtract one from your, uh, from your success roll. Uh, target number is 10. Target is 10. Okay. All right. mm -hmm. And that is zero successes. So, boom, 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 you shoot three rounds, and uh, you do not unfortunately hit the Terminator at all. So, subtract three Doesn't rounds from your... Does she get a bonus dice for success because she aimed? She does, yeah. Did she not factor that in? I did not factor that in. Can I do that before? So I yeah, roll? aim can like give you thing? either uh, uh, aim will give you either a bonus skill die or a plus one on success. So you I can reroll success. So reroll that success die. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Meaning, meaning it, it allows you, can you just to click. You can just click on it on that reroll success. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Let's see. So All you right. don't have to do three. Exactly. Right, here we go. And zero successes. Oh. And she did the burst fire, so I'm not sure if that also counts. Wait, doesn't it, she not do this until we've all declared what we're doing? That is that is true. It, it probably is well worth mentioning right. that we are going to actually go down the list afterwards. So next time, Sorry next about that. that's all good. This is how we get into it. So as we go, we're gonna declare, 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 and then action, 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 action. No problem. All right, so going up is now Tony. I will fire. Cool, Minguez. Uh, oh, also fire, but I won't aim. So Superb, won't Davis. You've aimed. I'm assuming that you're also shooting. Yep. Cool. All right, the Terminators will see you in your position. You have some cover, so they will actually be shooting at you with a penalty. Uh, so we've got these two Terminators here, and let's see what we got. Okay, so they are going to, uh, n they're going to just move two spaces, just closing speed here, and they're going to shoot at the, I guess, uh, they'll shoot at, uh, uh, I'm going to roll a d4. Let's see who, uh, one is Davis, two is Tony, three is Minguez, four is uh, Bass. But both of them are going to shoot the same target. Okay, so they're both going to shoot at Tony. Oh boy. Oh boy. Nice knowing ya. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> well, it's a good Sorry. thing Mike didn't show up. I might be playing Harper for the rest of this game. Let's find out. <laughs> Let's find out. Here we go. First shot. Ooh, man. One success. That is a lot. That's 11 damage, but it's mitigated by your armor, of course. Okay. Uh, but it's armor damage of four. Okay, so. So your resistance value goes down, your PV is what you reduce it by. Technically, that's correct. Now, I am not going to be mean right off the right off the bat and have it be a headshot. Uh, okay, even though... so I'm just, I'm just trying to get the mitigation. So it's mitigated by my PV? Yes. Correct. So that takes away four. So it yes. becomes, yes, yeah, so it becomes seven. So it becomes seven, and it does. And it takes the the armor damage that you that that is. Four the, off, so my resistance is down by four. Exactly, you got it. So your okay. resistance. What cool. was your resistance before? 
It was 12, now it's 8. Oh boy. Okay, so that's just one shot. Yeah, I'm super fucked here. Okay, and here comes the second one from the second shot. Minus 7, so there we go. Uh huh. And here comes number 2. Oops. Sorry, I hit cancel instead of submit. Okay, uh, that misses you. Ooh. Thank goodness. Uh, so yeah, the first one, um, the first one hits you, um, sort of like burns a hole. Um, it's just a single uh, plasma shot. Um, bam, and it hit you guys watch as um, there's like a, a smoking purple hole in Tony's armor and he's sort of like, Argh! puts it out, stamps it out. Um, and, uh, and yeah, that's their turn. Uh, Davis, fire away, sir. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, I think I'll shoot a three-round burst. Uh, target number is ten. Though, do I, or do I have the bonus set? So, if you're doing uh, a three-round, yeah, if you're aiming, it's it's a it, you get to re-roll successes or add a skill die. And your aim also adds a success dice, it, or a skill dice, depending on who you want. Yeah, you can either do a plus one modifier to your success die, or an add an automatic skill die. Because you're using a burst, right? Burst. Well, that's that's from aiming. Right. I yeah. think. No, no, no. Yeah. The aim. Uh, right, 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 right. Aim gives you success or a skill, and burst can reroll success. That's exactly yes. correct. Yeah. Yes. So adding. I finally found my rules. Yay! So adding a one two what success success yeah. dice modifier. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. For the aim, okay. yes. Skill dice is zero. Okay. That's right. Shooting. And then you miss. What? But you can re-roll success. That's correct. You got zero you successes, but hit that re-roll success button because you did a burst. Oh, unfortunately, you no, miss. So uh, three rounds off your clip. Boom, 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 and nothing, uh, nothing hits these these metal motherfuckers. Uh, Minguez, it is now your turn. Okay. So I'm gonna shoot my pistol. I did name, so no success modifier, no skill dice modifier. Yeah. One success. One success. Thirteen damage from that plasma pistol. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. And send uh, the armor, armor damage, damage of two. two. Yes. Okay, so it does hit uh the Terminator on the left. And plus one damage. I don't know what that's it, that's factored from. into it. That's factored into the overall damage. Okay. I found that out the hard okay. way. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay. Yep, because otherwise it would have done 17 damage to Tony. That would have been super bad. <laughs> so yes, what, um, so so how much was that total damage? Uh, total damage was uh, 13. Okay, let me check the resistance on this guy. All right. Uh, so 13. Uh, they have a, a a protection value of six, so it actually only does seven damage, but their resistance goes down. Uh, by two. I'm not gonna tell you what that is, though. <laughs> that's my that's my little thing. All right, so seven damage, not bad. Yeah. All right, very good. Um, and that is uh, Minguez's turn. Um, Tony, you still have yet to go. Yep. Um, fire in the pistol. Do it. I am going to wait and see my roll before I decide what I'm doing with my aim point. Roger that. Because I probably. That's a zero success on that pistol. And Dang. wait, but if I rolled, why do I have a minus one on there? That's weird. Um, seriously, why do I have a minus one? I don't know. Why do you have a minus one? Did you put a minus one? One D ten plus five plus zero minus one. Uh, I don't know. Uh, check your check your recoil on that. Uh, oh, it's my recoil. Okay. If so, if I meet ten, is that a success? Correct. Yes. Oh, then I'm going to add plus one because I rolled a nine. Beautiful. So I'm going to re-roll and make that a hit for seven damage. Okay, very good. Seven damage mitigated, so it only unfortunately does uh, one because it's protection value. So, ping! It, it just bangs off the armor. that You see the Terminator just goes... Like, it rocked back. Um, and this is a big-ass, like... Nice. This is one of these, like, Desert Eagle pistols. Mm -hmm. um, and armor damage of one, so... Ouch. Okay. Taking the armor off. Okay, very good. 
Um, we, uh, obviously, uh, we already obviously did Bassett's shot, so we're back to Can now I... the way we are. So uh, Bassett... Actually, did we? Because uh, Bassett still could re-roll because of her burst fire. Uh, I thought that's what we did do. I did no, she roll. didn't add Bassett's the um, success dice for her first roll. She didn't add the so success dice. So we re-rolled it. Yeah, for the aim. If she had the success dice for the I'll allow aim, she did, she did. but she didn't re-roll for the for her burst fire. Ah, oh, for the burst fire. That makes sense. Okay, so yeah, yeah, go back up to your thing there, Bassett, and hit re-roll. Why, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for holding my hand through this, because I don't know. That's all right. Doing. It gets easier. <laughs> new set. New new rule set. Who dis? <laughs> uh, there you go. There's hey, a success. Oh. <laughs> Hey, now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. So now you right. have, and you just have an assault rifle. Um, and I'm looking yep. up at your damage. You had six damage. Uh, armor the damage of two. That's right. Minimum, minimum damage is eight. eight. Oh. So that is correct. So eight damage uh, mitigated by the six uh, protection value. So that does two damage to the Terminator and two damage to its armor. All right. Can I, can I also move, please? Yeah, you can move your closing value. As opposed to your rushing gun. I'm just going to move, Heck move yeah. here. I'm not going to fire where all y'all Oh, yeah. Them, now, you know what happens if these Terminators get into close combat. You've had an experience with the T-600 maybe a month or so ago uh, when it was dressed like this old dude who smelled like rotting flesh. Um, and he almost took out one of your buddies. Uh, in fact, I think it actually was Minguez who was, it like, was. lifted off the ground and, like, whose throat was almost collapsed by the iron grip of this Terminator. Um, it was only through the luck of the four of you and one other that you actually were able to succeed against one of these guys, let alone two. Uh, all right, Bassett, declare. Uh, I will take aim on the, on the lefty one more time. All right, all right, all right. Tony. Realize this is fucked and we should all be running, yeah? Yeah. Uh, yeah, pro pro probably here. I'm I am gonna move my rushing speed out of this foxhole and away from these fuckers. Okay. I'm running. Okay. Fuck this. Boom. Um, make a detect roll, Tony. Oh wait, I can't move. I don't move until I actually do that. Yes. Okay. Good thing I'm blocking me in. Tony, make a detect roll as you sort of like, I, are you running I, out yeah, of the- I'm, I'm, in, I'm in the midst of making it, yes. It's many things to click. Yep, 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 yep. One success, one skill success. Okay, um, as you sort of start to and clamber- If it involves hearing, that would be two skills. Success. It's not, it's one, it's 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 visual. Um, as right. you sort of like All make right. the decision and you like turn your head to like run out of the foxhole, you see a figure coming to the south. Just a lone figure. You can't make it out. It could be human, it could be a Terminator, you have no idea. Company. All right, Minguez, okay. what do you decide to do? Okay, seeing that um, Tony's looking to bolt, and then she looks behind herself after, I'm assuming, uh, Tony lets her know that there is somebody else. The, she will still continue trying to fire on that terminator that's still coming towards her. So you're going to shoot. No aim. You got it. Davis. Yes, shoot. Uh. Oh, yeah. Just <laughs> not aim and just shoot. Just shoot. The, okay. Uh, sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool beans. Uh, the T-800 uh, will not declare anything because it's their turn. Um, they will move... They just rush right for the hole. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And they like, they, um, they, they don't have anywhere to holster their pulse rifles or their, sorry, their plasma uh, rifles. So they just sort of like grab, they like reach for the, um, the nearest person to them. Um, and it, you can see the, like the fire in their eyes. You can just see the just the glowing red hatred of machine destruction, and how you guys are all completely fucked. And you put up your rifles, and you're like, "Oh God, oh God, please, not not like this, not like this." And you hear, um, yeah, you hear the the following. Um, <laughs> hold on, uh, you hear this.
as streaking smoke appears over your head um, and explodes with a brilliant white light uh, on the Terminator to your left, uh, blowing it into a million pieces. And then another one flying to the right and crashing into the other Terminator, blowing it. And you see its its, uh, metal chassis, uh, its torso just flying, um, and it is completely decimated. And you turn from where these two rocket blasts came from, and uh, coming out of the coming out of the of the smoke to your south um, is a man, or perhaps a man. Can't tell. There is a, um, a, a sort of a, a, a very sort of buff, stocky-looking dude uh, with a, a cigar in his mouth. Um, and he sort of like hops down into the foxhole um, and he sort of throws this empty smoking four barrel rocket launcher on the ground and he runs past the foxhole to the two terminators that have been blown to smithereens pulls out a plasma pistol and just starts firing like absolutely nonstop and then he turns to the four of you and he points to the east And as the smoke and haze clears, you see what, from your perspective, um, is a derelict building in the distance, um, which has a symbol on it that is kind of like a TC, which marks, in in your estimation, as a a safe house, a tech comm safe house. Now, since the Terminators have been completely destroyed, and you guys have declared your actions, what is it that you want to do? Uh, I thought you'd go east. I mean, I still have a direction to, I now have a direction to run. So that's what I'm doing. Okay. So you guys are all just running for that building. Oh yeah. Fucking book it. Hell yeah, okay. All right, so we are out of combat with these two Terminators who would have most certainly completely, com- just absolutely annihilated you. Uh, I think I funny. literally just almost died in the first combat. So <laughs> I feel like we could take them. You probably agree to disagree. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's fine. That's fine. Um, so yes, the four of you run for this uh, this building. I'm going to go ahead and sort of move everyone away from this map. Thank you, Jesper, obviously, for these amazing maps, but uh, no need because uh, we are out of combat. All right. Um, the sounds of the uh, the intense battle uh, outside still uh, fill your ears um, as you run towards the um, run towards the safe house, uh, leaving whoever this person was, the savior, behind. Um, and you see a you see this 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 door with the with the techcom symbol on it and uh there's a, a com link on the door davis you want to pop that open for us? right yeah me, you know. yeah try to get this thing working yeah okay yeah i mean it, it seems to be in working order actually you sort of like flip open the cover and you see that the light yeah. The light is is uh, sort of a faded, sort of piercing green. Mate, just push the button and fucking talk. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know. Just yeah, yeah like like pu- pushing like button like still a little nervous, but yeah, pushing the button. Okay, you push the button. Yeah. You hear a, a, yeah. a crackle voice come from the other side. Yeah, yeah. What, what, what name it name it right? Uh. I have character. I got my rank, but uh, make it up. If you don't uh, remember, make it up, baby. General Davis. <laughs> yeah, Davis is a general. While Minguez is only a private, yet she's a commander. <laughs> uh, that makes perfect sense. Private first class engineer Davis. Uh. Trying to get in here with three others with me right now. Uh, I'm, I. Um, you guys all hear a sort of whirring of gears, and you all look up, and there is a a very uh, expertly hidden camera 
which sort of like looks down on your position and sort of scans the four of you. And then uh, you see that the, the light on the comm link turns off um, and you see the door open for the four of you. Good job, nerd. Oh, I was yeah. just I was just gonna say that it was gonna be funny that I was gonna nudge Tony and just flip off the camera. <laughs> I was about to look up and say something snarky at the camera, but they opened the door. Understandable. So we'll see Understandable. You later. Yeah. If they didn't open the door I was gonna do that. Because <laughs> I think that would show that we're human. All right. So the I'm four. I don't think the, machines would flip off a camera. The, that's fine. The four of you go inside, um, and uh, obviously, the sounds of the of the future war ever present outside, but it's certainly muffled by the fact that you are now, uh, excuse me, in this uh, in this place of safety or relative safety, I should say. Um, you uh, see that as you walk through these dingy hallways lit by. Uh, fading lights. Uh, there are various sort of cameras that watch your position. Um, and as you walk through the, the hallway, you do see occasionally people in resistance gear sort of like checking to make sure, like uh, checking your, your position with their infrared cameras on their guns, uh, sort of nodding at you. Um, and you see that there are a number of destroyed pieces of machinery and cyberdyne uh, hardware, like, laying around, and including parts of, like, different, perhaps, you're not quite sure, you see, like, uh, an arm of, uh, potentially a T-800 just, like, hanging out on the ground, um, uh, you know, a, a leg, um, some, some gun from probably an HK, um, sparking, um, clearly destroyed by what you can only assume to be Perhaps a, like elaborate booby traps and defense systems that were built into, um, built into this this space that you probably are finding yourselves passing through. Now, every once in a while, you do see these sort of cameras like following you as you walk down the hallway, and you get to another door, um, and you hear, you hear uh, 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 the sounds of uh, of animals behind you. You hear like. <laughs> It sounds like uh, it sounds like dogs. Who's in charge down here? Who are you asking that of yourselves? They even look like they're in charge down here. Uh, you don't see anybody sort of like uh, meet and greet you or bring you to anything. They're all just sort of like they seem to be approximately like the same. Like they're just soldiers. They're grunts for the most part. You don't see anybody in officer's garb. Oh, it's just more of a safe haven. Seems like it, yeah. You do see some families, like, off to the side, like, warming their hands by a garbage can fire. One guy's, like, roasting a rat on a stick. <sighs> I, look, I look at one of the grunts and I say, Oi, mate, anywhere I can get patched up? Uh, he sort of nods at you and says, Yeah, yeah, we've got, uh, we've got some gear. Looks like you guys are a little low on ammo, too. We much appreciate Yeah, yeah, sure. Seen the Sarge? Uh, depends. Did he have a rocket launcher? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we seen him. He saved our skin. Okay. Well, uh, hopefully he gets back from, from the front sometime soon. We took out two 800, so I think he can hold his own all right. Oh, he's taking out more than that. A second later, woman we'll gone for sure. Huh. Anyway, if you guys want to just take a breather here, get you what we can. And he hands you like a cantina of water. I'm going to take a slug and then pour some on my face to rinse off the viscera of whoever landed in my eyes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Not the keyboard to me. So, as a cat. at this time, you guys can fill your clips to maximum, uh, as yeah. well as your, um, uh, your your plasma weapons, if you have any. Um, you'll also have a, a uh, each individually, you will all guess, get an additional clip. 
Yay. So you have that clip in your weapon and you have a second clip too. Uh, no one's used any other kinds of firearms or explosives, so nope. you're good for that. Thank what you, about, Apocalypse Santa. What about healing, friends? Uh, yeah, they. Uh, I think, uh, let's see, who has the healer's kit? Well, Bassett's our medic. That's right, Bassett okay. is the medic. Are you dinged up or is it just your armor? Oh, no, it's me. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm armor took, took mo a little bit of damage, but most of it got through by looks. What gave it away? Tony, you uh, the giant hole in your front. Just up. Was that duck? You have any heal, heal from the last time I stitched this shit up? Come here. <sighs> Peels the armor off. Kind of sticks to his skin a little bit. Yeah, this is gonna sting home still. Mm hmm. He puts his just knife a... in his teeth. Can I make a medical roll for that? Is that uh, that yes. Let me just check the healing rules. I think that's correct. I couldn't find healing in my cheat sheet. Uh, health that's and conditions, medical. healing, medical intervention to stop bleeding. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm pretty sure the healing kit re uh, re restores hit, hit points here. A uh, healing, a medical kit does. Which yes. Is actual... I think that Bassett has a medical kit. I do. Yeah. Yeah. I think. I'll just do a quick I see. Book. I'm looking at the big rules. All I see is improvised medical kit. This is that's the one thing that I'm like. There doesn't seem to be very. No, no, no. There's stuff. definitely medical kit. Okay. Here we go. Uh, you. Yeah, use a medical kit as an auxiliary action, and. Yeah, you can use your medical kit. Go medical Which kit. I, we hope you, we hope you have. Yes. Here we go. Medical intervention. This is it. Healing. Uh, medical kits have a profile. This profile determines how many hit points it can heal, how many times it can be used, and how many special rules attached to it. Uh, on a successful medicine test, the character rolls the kit's healing and compares the margin of success to the same bonus damage chart used for attacks, adding the bonus damage to the amount healed. So, for example, do you have an improvised medical kit or do you have a radical, red, bleh, regular medical kit? Just regular cat. Okay, so it does. I would say the improvised medical kick does 1d10 minus 6 healing with a minimum of 1. I'm going to say a regular medical kit, like the ones that soldiers get, would probably do 1d10 minus 3. So just do 1d10 minus 3, and we'll tell how much that'll, uh, that'll tell uh, how much uh, healing you get back. All right. But you have to roll a medical, medical skill check. Great. I have zero success on that. What does that mean? Did I just give you a tattoo? <laughs> <laughs> um, it means at this time, it unfortunately did not. Um, uh, now, you can use a point of fate, of course, to re-roll that. How many points of fate do I have? I don't think I have any points of fate. I have luck. Oh, let's take a look at that. Um, I, I think do... luck is where we put. Is where That's right. Fate. Luck is fate, right? Because the the character she doesn't have fate. Is is burning a luck a instant success or a reroll? Uh, good question. I think fate. It's it's not luck. It's fate. Um, oh, there you go. Right. A basic medical kit is one d ten minus three. Oh, I was right. Who do knew? Do I have to roll for a success, or can I just like we're sitting here concentrating? Yeah, let me just check fate. I'm pretty sure fate, um, fate points. Here we go. Uh, and didn't didn't medical kind of shoehorn into a different thing? Like it sounds like I shouldn't even need to roll a success die for this. No, you definitely have to roll a medical uh, roll for it. Okay. But let me just check fate. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure fate gives you like a lot of different things, and I think one of them is an is an automatic success. But let me just double check. I have my cheat sheet. Oh yeah, reroll the success die. Reroll any of the skill die. Add a plus one. Hope. Well, shit. Stats. Where's fate? Oh wait, oh wait, I have a thing. I'm an experienced medic. Once per game session, a doctor oh, you have a thing. roll any or all dice during a medical or forensic skill roll. In addition, each time a doctor delivers medical intervention, the subject regains an additional two hit points. Ah. I'm going to re-roll it because I can. 
Cool. So, so there you go. So you don't even need to use fate for it. There we go. Beautiful. Come on now. That's oh, a zero geez. success. All right. God damn it. So you re-rolled it. My hands are shaking. Is that just, I, only, I only see the first roll. Uh, it was a re-roll. Oh, there's the re-roll. The re-roll, yeah. Uh, let well, me see if there's anything I'm else you can do. Can you do I'm anything else? Stay banged up. Yeah, I guess you could just stay banged up at this point in time. Yeah. Sorry. You used to have a better medic, but they're all dead now, so you got me. <laughs> I gotta find out that I think I put fate on my on my cheat sheet somewhere. if you guys can find it then. You did. Yeah, it's on uh, thirteen. It's on thirteen? Mm. I'm looking at it. Though that being said, it does say. It oh, there it is. Yes, we roll the success die. Rule any of all the skill die. So it's up to you. Do you want to use a fate die? But it doesn't say um, if you succeed or fail, you gain an additional two hit points. No, so no, no. You could. Oh, that's on, that's on my character sheet. That's yeah. a that's uh, a I thing. It's a thing yeah, that she has. Yeah, I was looking at that thing. Yeah, yeah, it I, says, because you don't require a success to get the two additional hit points. So, in other words, a minimum of two hit points, even if even if, yeah. uh, even if even she if fails? Fail. Yeah. It doesn't say it, As and I like the way your rules it. lawyering it, so two hit points goes back to tell me. <laughs> Yay. I slapped a Band-Aid on it. it Here, just, rub some dirt it's on it. Some... It's not bleeding anymore. No. You've had worse. All right. So, yeah. Tony, how many hit points you got? I now have 14. All right. Um, okay, so it's not too long after you guys get all of your uh, gear, so to speak, passed by the friendly dogs, uh, one of whom uh, sort of uh, takes a, a liking to, um, let's say, Minguez. Yeah. Uh, sort of sniffs at Minguez's hand and, like, licks... Licks Minguez, like really likes you, Minguez. Um, and uh, have a dog. yeah, yeah, dogs like you. <laughs> um, and you hear um, a loud voice coming down the hall from the direction that you guys entered. And you see that heavy set, muscular dude with the crew cut and the cigar come in. And he says, Resistance Sergeant Jed Kowalski, glad to meet you. I'm one of the poor bastards responsible for running this damn thing. And he rocket offers it. Rocket X Machina. Yeah, Rocket yeah. X Machina. <laughs> we, we appreciate the help. Uh, he offers a hand to you all, and uh, he uh, he says, "Well, you guys, uh, you guys did your part just like everyone else." Cigar, and he pulls out from his breast pocket like four cigars. Please and thank you. Very nice. Thank you. That's the last time I had a cigar. Uh, probably not, like, for years. I don't even want to smoke it. I think I just want to have it. You just it. want to smell just it. Just, mm, <laughs> yeah. We at Slices and Dices do not endorse tobacco use unless you use it responsibly. Not, not, so. not, not, not at all. Um, Kowalski, <laughs> Kowalski then says, all right, for those of you who uh, want to follow me, and then he gestures for you to follow uh, him to uh, a side room, and he shuts the door. Um, it's a small room. It's cramped. It's about 10 feet by 10. Well, it's probably not 10 feet. It's probably more like, uh, I don't know, 20 feet by 30 feet, maybe. Um, and in the center of the room, there's a map um, of some kind of compound um, laid out in the middle uh, of the table. And um, there are all kinds of like blueprints and papers on this table. Um, and you also see... Um, on some side tables, there are various pieces of machinery, probably uh, you recognize a Terminator torso and stuff like that. Um, and uh, he sort of looks at uh, the four of you and he says, uh, you see that? And he gestures to the, to the map. He says, we got to get through them damn walls. How are we doing that, sir? Well, that means we got to be close. We gotta be close, and we gotta bring a metric fuck ton of explosive to bear. What is that place? That's the, uh... Well, that's their time displacement facility. That shit's real? That's a real thing? I thought they were joking. 
No, no joke, soldier. Yeah. Not to mention, I think that's where they're keeping your, uh, your, that your, your pal, uh, Miroslav. I think that, uh, that brought him in there. It's been a couple days. And you know what happens to people who get taken by the, by the, those awful fuckers. I mean, they don't last long. They don't come back. No, they don't come back. I was not thinking about that. So we gotta, we gotta get him out. Anyway, That's if he's still alive. If he is, yeah. We, we, which one of you? Uh, he's alive. Which one of you is the demo expert? That would be me. All right. So those walls are eight feet thick, steel reinforced concrete. Only way through is by punching a hole in the side of the damn thing and fighting our way through. You've been lucky this side. No, uh, no thanks to me, I guess. And he sort of gives a, a smirk and takes a long drag on his cigar. He says. Fucking machines don't seem to have seen you, except for those two, but they're waxed now. So this is the chance that the four of you have. Let them waste their shells on that side of the battlefield, where the big fight is. Should give us the opportunity to blow our way in. And you... I any... suppose you've tried sneaking in. Oh, there's no way inside sneaking inside. You gotta blow a hole in that fucking thing. They're definitely gotta be, super... definitely gotta be super aware once they've been compromised, right? Well, that's when we come into play. Once you guys blow a hole in, we'll fill in the gap and give you guys the time that you need. But you, and he points at Minguez, you're our way in, girl. You're the key that's going to break that fucking place wide open. No pressure. All you got to do is... Is it reinforced concrete? Yeah, but... And I need maybe plasma cutters as well. Plasma Get cutters? Reinforced. No, no, no. You got plastique. And he points at, like, all the explosives that you have in your bag. He says, that'll do it. Just slap, get close, plant the bombs, and get clear, and then we're inside, okay? That's it. Not that simple. It's never that simple. Uh, things are, are never are simple. Uh, whatever. Uh, whatever. What do you want to know? How thick are the walls? I told you. They're eight feet thick. So C4 won't barely scratch it. You've got enough demo compound to do it. You, by the way, That's know, you know, based on your, your current equipment, you know what you have. You know you can, if you put half of your, your current um, load of explosives and plant it on the side there, you should be able to blow your way through what are we doing once we get inside? Fine. Do you know anything about what's going on in there? Well, whatever it is, it's going to be fucking nasty. Never so, basically, so basically, we're going to be going in blind the moment we breach it. That's right. That sounds like fucking suicide. Well, Isn't it every day? Any, any kind of footprint on the facilities? Top down kind of thing? You know how no. big it is? We know there's a big heat signature. Not too far from the entrance. Maybe two or three rooms from from the wall. We assume that's the the device. How many going in and out? In and out of what? The facility. No idea. They don't pick up on uh, heat signature. No. Any other questions? It's on men. Does our man pick up on heat signature? I don't find him at all, but you never know. They might have. Do you have another rocket launcher? launcher? No, I got no more rockets. In fact, I gotta send to Connor to go get some more. And and it's real. You're saying that you can traverse ten with this. That's that's a real thing. They're not they're not fucking with. That's them. what I've been told. Oh. This war is so goddamn strange. All right. So, any other questions from the four of you? I'm Has here. the wall been tried to breach before? No. Is there a weaker section with more than point? I'll point you to it. And then he point. He's like stabs his finger at like the section that's just like maybe a hundred feet west 
from the position that you were at in the foxhole. That's our target there. You better believe it. Well, I think we should just pack our stuff and head back out. Yeah. All right. Well, it's we gonna get messy. Man. Go ahead. Go ahead. What? What exactly are we doing once we get in there? Blowing it up, the machine. Yeah, stop them from doing whatever they want to do with this time shit, and hopefully find Maris Love on the way in. Right. Now listen, folks. Yeah. He stands up. He like pauses for a moment, takes a big drag and a cigar, and goes, "It's gonna get messy." But John Connor led us to this point. And he looks at the four of you, but it's our job to get this thing done. You hear me? Yes, sir. All right. Yeah. And one last thing. And then you hear a plasma blast, and then his head explodes. Shit. And you are completely um, just like coated in viscera as you see coming out of the vent like a glowing plasma uh rifle and then clank clank uh landing like out of the vent um a a t800 skull uh arm completely shredded um and the only arm that's left has it uh has its fingers uh, wrapped around the um the the handle of a plasma rifle from the waist down there is nothing it is literally just a torso and a gun and now i'm going to move you to that map and we're going to roll initiative again no <laughs> what do you think he was getting ready to say <laughs> and one hell? last thing Bang. most importantly don't forget to like and subscribe <laughs> That's what it looks that's like. Actually a, that's actually a 15 for me. All right. I have to reroll the Terminator. All right, you've got to... Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, good. All right. What the hell? What the... He was badass, too. He was badass. My initial sucks. <laughs> Go to living again. All right, for me. let's get you guys on a map that we can show to our friends in chat. Jaboom. Okay, now let's get some music going. Here we go. Okay. What are we doing, ma'am? Let me roll initiative for the Terminator torso. Got a 12. All right, let me make sure I have the correct uh, initiatives here because we have a double initiative. I should have just killed everybody's initiative, but we have 14 for Tony. Yes. We have 11 for Davis. And Minguez. And Minguez. And then... And a 12 for Bassett and Terminator. And Bassett have a 12, and the Terminator Torso has a 12. All right, so... Great. I love how our character portraits are like in the appropriate... I love it. Yeah. It's fantastic. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. And probably making that same face. <laughs> <laughs> now here's the thing. Um, you, you, you have just watched something horrendous occur. And so now it is time for a fear test. Don't say it. Shit. <laughs> remind, us, remind us how those work, Matt. Oh, sure. Thanks, Sarah. The way fear tests work, as I remind myself quickly with my cheat sheet, is um, <laughs> you will do a 1d10 plus your cool. Good thing I'm cool as hell. This is a fear, and you must go over the, this is, you must go over the, uh, the fear rating of this particular um, uh, 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 problem that you are facing here. Um, and I would say this is a fear rating of four. Okay, then I'm fine. So if anybody gets less than a four... I got a nine. Then you're okay. You can do math when you... Are you typing your rolls by hitting the dice button or by typing it, Ash? Uh, I rolled the, the dice. 
my thing and oh, then okay. I mentally added my thing. Gotcha. If you want, you can type without the, the space there. Oh, you can just type I rolled. Oh, you can no. type, well, no, you can do slash R. I went. Bassett rolled 100? Yeah, good job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so everybody passed the fear test. You guys are all hardened soldiers, amazing. Okay, good thing too, because you would have lost willpower, but you do anyway, because you see a Terminator, you immediately lose. Well, I mean, it happens, you just, the, the willpower loss and fear loss are two different things. Um, so you do oh. lose willpower um, just from seeing Terminators in general. I think you lose two willpower. Let's double check on that. Yeah, two willpower loss for lost. seeing that. And that's under right? from the first And also right. for failing, yes, you would, well, seeing a Terminator immediately loses two, uh, and then another two. So four total loss of, of so we've lost a total of You have lost a total of four The uh, red one, right? Uh, willpower is indeed no, the blue, one. Bl uh, blue. In fact, I'll double check on that. Okay. Blue is willpower, red is your, is your armor. Gotcha. Resistance. Let me check that. Because I think that's true. I'm pretty sure it's true. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. your green is your hit points. Your your blue is your uh, willpower. That's correct. And your red is your armor resistance. Awesome. Okay. So let's do some declarations here. Minguez, I'm assuming you're going to go faster than Davis because of your tactics, right? Yeah. Well, I've got two tactics. What yep. does Davis have? I don't I'm know if sure Davis has Davis any has tactics. tactics. You got anything in tactics, Davis? Davis. Okay. That would be you, Scepter. Scepter. Did we lose Scepter? Scepter.exe has okay. failed to start. Hmm? Did he drop? Scepter? He's there. Yeah. There we go. Jeez. There, now we can <laughs> Amazing. Um, okay. Very terrific. Yes. Um, a, a note from chat. It's tactically important. Uh, for a few players, please don't forget that you can move your closing distance in addition to your regular action. Absolutely true. Absolutely true. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I love this from chat. I know the head explosions sort of caught me pretty off guard. It was all, in, it was all into the scene and just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that happens. Um, we anyway. We're going to have to have our heart to heart, but yeah. no. Nope, doesn't happen. We are moving. We are moving steadily forward. All right. So let's go with declarations here. Um, who is first in declarations? That is Davis. Yeah. Uh, is it possible for me to like, just? Do I, I still got my rifle, right? Yeah. You you guys still have all your weapons. Yeah. Move back into the corner of the room. <laughs> and do what? Anything else for action? It's possible I could fire without ending up like hitting uh, her. That's correct. You can you can shoot without hitting uh, Minguez because she's not in melee range. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Then yeah, I'm, I'm just shoot. Okay. Very good. Uh, then um, Minguez. Declaration. Uh, Minguez, seeing the Terminator drop down, I think her first idea is to grab a better weapon off the sergeant. Okay, yeah, the sergeant has a plasma pistol. Uh, just a plasma pistol? That's all he's got. Okay, well, if he just got the plasma pistol, then she's just going to shoot. Okay, perfect. Moving up, we are at uh, Bassett. Ma'am, do you want us to run or what? No running. All right. Um, Bassett will move and shoot. All right. And uh, the Terminator, like, it, it lands on the table, um, and it sort of, like, reaches its hands, uh, sort of just to steady itself and sort of like, lift itself up, and then it, like, it, sh it aims its rifle at uh, Minguez. Tony, what do you do? Well, seeing as this thing's got no legs, I'm going to jump up on the table here and throw one of my knives at its head. Okay, cool. Tony, you go first. Alright. Where are you? Thrown knifey knife. Ba-bam. 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 That's a success. Yeah, baby! Alright, so minimum damage of two. 
And what, let me, I gotta look at the quick start real quick. What is three guild die successes? Right, so it looks like for some reason, it, it's That's four damage or hit a leg. So I guess the damage- well, He doesn't it, have any legs. Yeah, yeah. So I was hoping it was head. Nope. But no, I was one short of the head. So yeah, I'm gonna do the extra damage. So it looks like the damage actually isn't, um, isn't <laughs> factored in because otherwise you'd see damage of like a lot, right? Because the damage is still minus one for some reason. Yeah. yeah. So I guess the damage is sort of like you, added you, on. You accidentally heal him. <laughs> because you heal the Terminator. Well, because the combat. <laughs> Wow. You know why? Because she rolled a two, right? And it's 1d10 oh, minus, two three. minus three. Two minus three is minus yeah. one. But because your skill successes, you get an additional four damage. So your minimum yeah, damage minimum is two, damage two, plus the four damage. That's a so six. That's six damage. Six 81. Damage and one, and one armor shift. One Superb. Armor shift. Okay. So yeah, you throw the knife and it embeds itself in its, in its sort of rib cage. You see a couple sparks. Um, it definitely does some damage to it. It's already obviously pretty fucked up as it is, so... Yeah. Yeah. All right. So armor damage of one. And minimum damage. Oh, so you got six damage. Let me just check its thing here yep. real quick. Let's see what its uh, PV is. Oh, PV is six still. Okay. So its current PV is six. So no damage to it, but... um. Nothing. Yeah. Sorry. Good amount of damage. Yep. That's the important part. <laughs> yeah, it is indeed. All right, so. True, true. Uh, the torso will shoot at, uh, at Minges. Minges. With its plasma rifle in the 40-watt range. Um, it's going to... Game for that. What's that? Two, three. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's got a rate of fire of 10, but because it's a plasma rifle, it has no recoil. So here we go. This is, this is, this is bad. Here we go. Did he say 10? 10, as in 10 shots. Oh, no. But misses you. That would have done 13 damage to you. Amazing. And it looks like NPCs can't re-roll if they do, uh, because that's actually the, the, this kind of rifle can only do 10 blasts, right? So it can't do like a single blast. It can only like, shoot like you know uh like full auto like like that shot a hole in the ceiling yeah so he basically uh so it, like it, it's obviously completely off balance and like and then the the knife hits it in its side and, and like you just see it go doo -doo 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 -doo, and like it just like it just Five, riddles probably. riddles the whole rule with with plasma blasts okay uh sarah has lost sound Ooh. Yeah, it's awesome. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so that's the Terminator's turn. Uh, the Terminator stays in the middle of the room. It is now Bassett's turn. Go. I will move to Yay. Okay. Uh, is that is that melee range? It is indeed down? melee range. Yeah. yeah. But if I, if, room here. I already declared I was going to do it, so I'm just trying to get by. I'm sure it'll be fine. You can hop All on right. the table. Sure. Stop yeah. Here. Absolutely. Can I? No. Yeah. Sure. Hop on the table. Off. Thank you. <laughs> of course. You right. scrabble up onto so, the table. Full, full coyote ugly. Fire off a three round burst of my assault rifle. Superb. Mm -hmm. You did not aim. I didn't know. Okay. Are you on the table or are you off the table? I can't tell. I'm on the table. <laughs> on the table. I'm on the table. On the table. I'm on it. Well, then get, on, the, get on the table. There we go. You got oh my god, it's my first success, y'all. All right. All right, so that's nine damage with an AD of two. Uh, so that does two damage to it because it has a PV of six, but more importantly, that two damage definitely knocks away the majority of its armor. In fact, it has no armor left. Nice. All right, yeah, it's sparking. It's not looking good. All right. Uh, we are now uh, at... Bing guess. You guess it's gonna fire a plasma pistol again? Okay, if you do so, you'll be firing uh, at, in melee range at someone in melee range. You may shoot and you may hit Bassett. Uh, will I? Yeah. Because I'm firing at the phone there. That's not in melee it's range. It's on the table and Bassett's down here. 
Uh, why do I see Bassett here? This is so strange. Oh, yeah, yeah, it probably has let, me yeah, there. let me refresh. Yeah, right I'm gonna refresh because my yeah my screen here is all wackadoodle. Hold on, yeah, that was the strangest yeah. thing. Like I have it open in two. Ah, there we go. My fault, folks. Yeah. Hey. Okay. Yeah. That was weird. Okay, so yeah. Uh, uh, continue. Apologies. Continue. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, let me bring stars. the music back up in a second. There we go. Okay. Nice. Yeah. There you go. One success. And Oof. Fifteen damage. Oh. Oh yeah. Or and thirteen damage and hit the arm holding the gun. Yeah, that's uh, what I was intending. Hit okay. the arm. That's holding the gun. So thirteen damage and hit the gun. Yep. So you blast the arm. It just literally just shreds at the shoulder. The arm spirals, hits the wall. Uh, basic, based on trajectory, it probably right hits it right Davis. next to Davis. Yeah, it goes <laughs> bang, and Davis is like fuck. And like the the plasma the plasma rifle just hits the floor, and then uh, the Terminator's eyes like start to spark, and like it looks like on its last legs. Like it literally has no arms, um, and no legs. <laughs> it's just the head. Like it's gonna bite you to death. Like yeah. What's it gonna do? I'll bite your kneecap off. Oh. <laughs> In fact, um, it's only a flesh wound. <laughs> Terminators. Bite your kneecap off. Who knew they would be the inspiration for Motor? <laughs> um, okay. Um, I will leave it to Davis to, if he would like, finish it off. I would like to. Please, Davis. <laughs> Should I give it a. Like Hopefully, uh, with a with a there. with a, uh, a, a, a relatively semi humorous quip. this <laughs> oh my god do I have to <laughs> you don't have to you can just shoot it uh, well first I have to hit it you missed oh. yeah. well can I re-roll from the triple burst did you burst did you burst yes you didn't yeah, call a burst but I'll, I'll accept it but just make sure I, you, I, you drop your ammo so yeah do a re-roll Nope, you I miss. Can't. And you miss. Okay, this thing is still alive. <laughs> Great. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm, not used, I'm not made for combat. You guys can waste your ammo <laughs> all you want. Last. Never mind. That's correct. Okay. Uh, Davis, declare. Shoot. Miguez, declare. And then shoot again. Bassett, declare. Move and shoot. The torso uh, will declare to bite uh, uh, Davis. <laughs> it's crawling and bite. That's all it can do. I don't know how it can crawl. It doesn't have any arms. It's, it's got its head. It can do one of these things. You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to do the worm well, all the way across the They pole. will never stop. <laughs> they, they don't you be like... I hit in the head with a fucking knife first. Yeah, Tony, you go first. Um, throw in another knife. It's go ahead. Good. It's got one hit point. Throw my hunting knife. All right, thank what God. There it is. All right, Tony, hit us with a hit us with a with a semi humorous uh, Terminator ending quip. He's gonna look at it and say, "Fucking bite me!" <laughs> <laughs> and then the eyes. Right in the mouth. <clears throat> All right, and that's right. that's the end of that combat. All right. Nice and Nice retrieving well, my knives from the decimated torso. And you thought that being a close combat specialist was never going to be good in Terminator. <laughs> Only when we've worn down all of their armor. Fair, fair. <laughs> I think we'll probably try and go armor. over and see if she can grab the uh, laser rifle off the Terminator's old hand. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's still in, it's still in intact, um, so you can indeed grab it. Uh, the Terminator. Can, can I use it? Is the biggest. Do pressure. you have Do you have a rifle skill? I'm assuming you do. Uh, just double check. I think I do. I mean, you yes, still can use it. It just won't be as good if yeah. you have no rifle skill. Yeah, my rifle skills is good. My pistol skills. So okay. So what I will do is, if you want to use it, I'll just add that to your, uh, to your weapons. Yeah. Yeah, because I need something a little bit better than a pistol. Yeah, you got a plasma pistol. A pistol can, I don't think a 
plasma pistol can burst? Uh, it can not. Yeah. That's correct. First fire or fully automatic. Yeah, it's yeah. just one shot. So plasma rifle, you're, this is the Terminator plasma rifle. that has It does 2d10 minus 4 damage. Damn. Oh, yes, please. Uh, with a minimum of 8 damage. Uh, AD of three. Uh, it does a minimum. It does a minimum rate of fire of ten, though. It's worth noting, okay? And the clip is at fifty out of sixty because it, it it shot once. Okay. So yeah, folks, do uh, do check to make sure that um, that you are keeping track of your ammo. This is the kind of game that really requires it, unfortunately. Uh, but beyond that, I think you're good. Yeah, you should have it now. Yeah, I put it into yeah. your I put it into your character sheet, I guess. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. And I just I've just used the one bullet of me plasma pistol because I got it recharged. Fantastic. Okay. So are there any compatible clips for that that rifle lying around anywhere? For which rifle? For the cool new Terminator rifle. It's the funny thing is about plasma rifles, they don't use clips, they use a battery charge. Plasma is plasma is plasma. So if you charge, right. it's like, you know, when you drive a friggin', you know, like, you're like a, if, if you drive a, a, what's it called? A, um, not like a, a leaf. Yeah, like a, like a leaf or a Prius. Like any charging station will work, you know, mm -hmm. or a Tesla. God knows, it's probably fucking Tesla that started this whole mess in the first place, but whatever. I'm not going to go there. <laughs> <laughs> I could just see it like. <laughs> just see like you know uh what's his face um fucking the guy who's there we go what's the guy from oh my god why am i blanking on his name um elon musk. there you go elon musk is like i'm now a, a, a step forward in technology i call it <laughs> skynet and everyone's like oh Ooh, love it I elon mean, you did such a great yeah. job yeah yeah right. on that note i'm gonna still covered in fucking blood yep gonna poke my head out the door and be like oi my boss is dead yeah all the soldiers are outside like the door opens and it's like all rifles like <gasps> it was just one we think uh, there might be more coming in from the vent we don't know i can't believe the bastards just snuck up on us like that sneaky fuckers all right so Let's lock the door behind us though shall we again i'm gonna take everybody away from this uh, this particularly pretty map uh, just because there's no need to worry about that for right now. Uh, where we're you're at... Now. Yes, you're safe. Um, you've been given the orders, obviously, to do what needs to be done, which is to plant your explosives on the wall to the Skynet compound. Um, I would like you all to make... And this will this will sort of determine how well you get in without say alerting uh the uh, uh the 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 terminator forces outside the compound although many of them as you sort of come back outside you notice uh you know as you um as you sort of stealthily move through the the wrecked buildings um that um yeah that the, the terminators themselves have been engaged elsewhere like you see the hks flying off in the distance the tanks are just blowing people apart and you see just massive battles um verging perhaps half a mile from your position so you don't see anything that would stop you from hitting this particular wall at least at this point in time okay so what did you want us to roll so let's see. Let's see if there's an appropriate skill to roll here. I mean, there, is of course, yeah. there is stealth. I would say make a group stealth check at this point. Now, do you um, remember we did have that thing where it's um, where we wanted to? Oh yeah. You the, can. The... Yeah, go ahead, sir. I'm, I'm trying to remember what it was called. It was like the... working as a team, emphasizing awesome oh, yeah, yeah, or yeah, emphasizing yeah. risk. Oh, that's right. So I think we uh, should emphasize. I think we should emphasize awesome in this case, uh, just because. I, kind of I think that I was going to say that could I maybe use tactics give us a little bit of advantage. It, it doesn't work like that actually, so yeah. it's fine. Kind of, so an extra. What, you, what we're going to do is assign someone to be the actor here. And the actor in this case, because we're emphasizing awesome, is the person with the highest skill. Okay. 
Okay. So I think Tony's our stealth me. guy. My total is eight. Okay. And then the assistant, uh, or assistance, I should say, grants bonuses to you. So for each um, um, uh, emphasizing awesome, we give the number of assistants to you, Tony, uh, equal to your charisma skill. Nice. To my charisma skill. Correct. Okay. So how many assistants do you get to your... Because we're going to narrate this this particular... Uh, is, it, is it anybody who has a rank in the skill can assist? Is that how it works? So again? no, it is anybody... So here's the way it works. For each oh, I can have a number of assistants equal to my charisma. Correct. Right. And I then have, for each assistant two. with a certain rank of three in that skill or three more, um, you have two. So you can choose two assistants to assist you in that skill. Uh, who's got ranks in stealth, y'all? Yeah, I have a A rank. Okay. Two. And Two Davis. From Bassett. Davis. Davis, do you have any ranks in skill or any ranks in stealth? I just one. got one. Okay, so we've got two with ranks okay. of one. And one with a rank of two. Oh, and one with a rank of two. Bassett has two. Not bad. Yeah. Bassett. So I'll take I'll take Bassett and we'll go with Davis. Okay, so each of them will give you a plus one to your success die roll. So I'm rolling my stealth with a plus two to my success. Stealth. You got it. All right. What's my target? Um, I'm going to say your target, seeing as you are in a place where um, you're not necessarily being observed, uh, but it is obviously uh, right next to a Skynet compound, I'm going to say your target is seven. All right. Target is seven. Eight plus two. Nothing but skill dies. One success and three skill success. Very nice. All right, so narrate this with the assistance that you have, how that stealth roll works out. Remind me how good three skill die successes on a skill check is uh, an incredible success. Three is, yes, a, an incredible success. All right. So, coming out of the compound, Tony takes the lead and sort of motions to Davis and to Bassett to stay close and stay low while Minguez brings up the rear sort of covering fire as they kind he kind of goes like through I'm assuming there's rubble everywhere everywhere so just kind of like leads them in like a snaking path, you know, dodging from behind one car, like one burnt out car to like a, a flaming pile of rubble, keeping an eye out for any Terminators that may be looking in their direction. At one point, it looks like one is turning its head in their direction, but Davis spots it just in time and kind of motions to Tony and shoves everybody back and down as he very slowly sort of creeps out to make sure that it hasn't noticed anyone yet. And it looks like it almost has, and then it does their, like, <laughs> and moves away. Nice, nice. As he creeps out from behind the pile of rubble, and they just kind of continue to sort of dodge and weave and, like, climb under shit. There's, like, some army crawling, like, under a burnt-out tank. And then they finally make it within sight of the wall, but to a place with enough cover that uh, Mingas will have a place to retreat to when the wall blows. Nice. I actually have to take something out really quickly. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Um, fantastic. So, um, Davis, it is now your... Um, I guess, actually, no, it's not Davis. It's, um, it's Minguez, Minguez. Um, you have the opportunity given to you now by the stealthy actions of your party to, uh, to blow this wall. Okay, so Minguez is going to try and find a weak spot in the wall, see if there, she can find any cracks, and then start loading up with C4. And make a demolition check. Go for it. What would be my target number? Uh, it's probably pretty easy. I can say five. Five. It's not like you're trying to put an explosive inside a Terminator or anything like that. 
<laughs> this dice Ooh, it do I have no idea. Like, why would you do that? No school dice. <laughs> Fools. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, got nice. All right. Yeah. Skill dice. Ooh. Big boom. Uh, this is and what a, uh, four skill dice is like unbelievable success. An or some unbelievable shit. success. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. So I find just the right spot and make a hole big enough for us to all walk through easily. Fantastic. Don't need a crouch or anything like that. Beautiful. Absolutely. Yeah. So you in, do it indeed. It perfectly with a massive explosion on the field so that the sound is mass. 100%. Yeah. There is this enormous just boom and shards of steel fly everywhere. And there is now a giant 10 foot gaping hole um, sparking with uh, electronics and electricity um, everywhere. But it does seem to proceed into a very dark sort of tunneled area away from the battle. Were there like other soldiers that rushed in or no, anything? No, it's like just the, the, the rest of the soldiers are all on the front. Okay. Making the biggest there, there are meat shield, there are distractions. They are the distraction for the four of you. Hey, everybody okay. in. As the scout, I'm gonna go first, all stealthily. Right. All right. And so, then uh, I mean, guess would be bringing up the rear while yeah. Davis I'll and Bassett are in the center. All right, all right, all yeah, right. Yeah, I want to yep. make my way in and, and and keep an ear out specifically for the sound of anything approaching. So give me one and more I'm, time. I'm watching over. Who's uh? You guys all have flashlights, I believe, correct? In your in yes, your inventory, we do. right? I have dark vision. You have dark vision. I knew it. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> Uh, but I'm actually going to go in dark first and listen. Okay. So Tony wanders I in listen. dark. I'm, so I'm kind of like one hand on the wall going in dark. I want to listen to see if I can hear anything coming sure. before I flick on my light. I don't want to draw any attention to myself until I have to. Absolutely. The first thing that you notice as you enter the compound before you flick on your light and listen is that this place is fucking cold. It's freezing cold. Your breath actually mists in front of your face. And as you listen, before I can ask you to make a detect check, the first thing that you notice is that there are a variety of sort of humming and sort of whirring machines from various places within this room that you've just entered, this, this tunnel, this corridor. Um, and there are pipes that have been sort of pumping from outside this sort of bluish black liquid. And as the explosion occurred, the pipes um, vented all kinds of this material onto the ground. And you can see that as it sort of hits the ground, it like permafreezes. So you can see that these pipes are probably containing coolant of some kind. Because if there's this much machinery in this place, it's got to be cooled by something. Um but you can make a detect check. Right. Because this is for hearing, this will be one additional skill die success. What is Solid. my target? Um, let's call it a, a seven. Okay. Four, so that's four skill die successes. That is Indeed. an unbelievable success. You unbelievably <laughs> hear nothing. There is silence. Lick on my flashlight and use it to gesture the others forward. Okay. So give me a marching order here, folks. The the room that you've entered into is large and it's probably I don't know. Let's call it uh, uh, ten meters wide by maybe I don't know. You can't really see that far, but you can see only about I don't know. 10 meters in front of you, but you can see that the room itself sort of angles out from the hole that you've punched in. It's all metal. Pipes and gears and no no organic material anywhere. Okay, so I think the marching order is Tony, Bassett, Davis, and Minguez. Okay. Sounds right. Sounds right. Cool, cool, cool. Um, you can keep, go keep to, the to a, at the back. You can go two abreast <laughs> if you want. So you can go like Tony and Bassett and Davis and Minguez in the back. However you want. Oh, sure. 
I'm thinking probably Davis and Bassett are together. So it's Tony, then ah. Bassett and Davis okay. together, and then Mingus at the back. Diamond formation. So, yeah, uh, diamond formation. Swap team. Okay, got it. So it's like one of these things. Yeah, got one, it. two, one. Got it, got it, got it. I'm loving it. All right. All right, so yeah, it is super quiet. Every once in a while, you sort of hear this silence disturbed by the sort of chirrups of maybe a computer system going. And the sort of bass murmur of some kind of like, maybe a, like a like a generator just humming far away some way. But the miasma of sound from outside, all the discharge of heavy weapons and the hydraulic wine of the Terminators is just gone. Why is it so quiet? Where the hell are they? And there's no light in this room. That make no goddamn sense. Psst, the hiss of pistons. You hear the sort of hiss of pistons and the smell of machine oil. Cool enough for us to be able to see our breaths. It is, yeah. Jesus. And maybe they're all outside. Um. Any of you guys can make a detect skill roll, but it's going to be a high target number. It's going to be a, a an eleven. I'll make target one. Number eleven. Uh -huh. I believe. So you said detect, show. did you? Detect. Detect. Target number eleven. Not a. Wait. Oh, that was me. Hey, scepter. Again, they fail from the scout. <laughs> the only person and everyone else <laughs> you're too busy like listening and you're like wait yeah, stop you hear something you smell something what is it what's that line oh crap i'm, I'm fucking it up wait stop it's, it's that what's the fucking line does anybody remember the line never mind i'm, I'm fucking it up it's like no matt what are you talking about um except got the good success yes i, I would say davis um, of the four of you, you pick up on the fact that there is the smell of, over all the machine oil, smell of blood. Lots and lots of blood. Boy. Seems like we're not the first humans to be here, exactly. I'm going to move you to a map. That doesn't mean no, every anything. Every time you move us to a map, something bad happens. Well, that's that's what we DMs do. Um, and I'm gonna no. move, I'm gonna move uh, the, um, I should say, I'm gonna move our our, our friendly chat. Why is there to two me's? There are two U's. Hold on one second. I don't see two. I only see one. I see. Like you're probably having a roll twenty glitch. There's two like light sources. Oh, uh, there's two light sources because people have flashlights. No, but I mean, like, there's one here. Oh, there's one there. I'll take that out. Bye. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there was a tiny bit off screen. I there was a tiny Davis. I removed the tiny Davis. Davis is gone. So, let me move. Oh. See you all next week. Oops. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you going to do? Yeah, wrong one. Sorry. My God. I put the wrong, I wrote the wrong thing, and here we go. Let's try this again. That's the right scene. So, there you guys are. Okay. Now, hopefully you can only see a certain portion of the room. Yes, that is correct. Good. Dynamic lighting is now functioning as it should. Holy shit, it worked. Okay. So, you guys can certainly move up if you'd like. I'm going to start slowly moving hmm. forward. Okay. You're moving forward. Okay. As I said, Mingo's will be sitting in the back. Tony, as you reach about the midpoint of the room, you hear mm -hmm. like a thud from something, not in this room, but pretty far away. Maybe, I don't know, 20 or 30 meters from your position. Um, It sounded like something like wet hitting something, like something big and wet. And then you hear. Sharp. 
Uh, only um, Tony hears that, or? No, I mean, Tony's in the front, so he hears it first. Yeah. Tony just kind of shakes his head, and grits his teeth, and keeps moving. All right. Quietly. Quiet. Yes, quietly. Sh Looking okay. a little bit to the south. Tony, first. as you reach that point in the room mm -hmm. to a doorway, oh, see you see, well, what you see is uh, a trail of blood. But that trail mm -hmm. of blood itself is at the feet of something that kind of makes you lose your mind a little bit. Because from the waist down, it is metal. Complete and total metal endoskeleton. From the waist up, however, it is your commander. The one who you were looking for this whole time. It is, in fact, Commander Miroslav. And Miroslav, or what you could assume to be Miroslav, looks at the four of you and says, What are you doing? Stop! Please! Stop! Please! Stop! And then it starts to lurch forward towards you. And that's where we're going to take a break. No! <laughs> nice. All right. Oh, For real. So, so, so is Cyborg. Cyborg. So Cyborg. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take a break, and uh, I'm sure there's gonna be a fear roll attached to this. Oh, oh, you better fucking believe it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we'll be back. Don't go anywhere, or cybernetic organisms will come. I don't know. Goodbye. See you in a bit. All right, here we go. We are rocking. And rolling here. Okay, so, uh, yeah, no more of this uh, sort of creepy-ass music. It's time to fight. So, here we go. What? Oh, uh, what? Time for initiative again. Yeah, yeah. Uh, time for initiative. Fight in the cyborg. Fight in the cyborg. Yeah, as you, like, scream. First of all, the first thing is, um, those of you who can see this guy, please make a fear test, because there's, like... I mean, I'll just describe <clears throat> what you see coming at you, um, sort of limping at you. Because you see that its its uh, leg is somewhat damaged, potentially. It's sort of limping. Um, and a trail of bloody footprints leads away uh, uh, out through the back to potentially another corridor. Um, but uh, the, the top half of this thing is like a mess. Uh, there's like a series of like fleshy strips draped over steel. Blood cascading off of it in long, like, gobbets. Except for its face. Its face, its face obviously being that of Miroslav. So, please everybody make a fear test. I'm going to say this is a pretty high fear test uh, uh, number. I'm going to say six. Uh, can I auto-succeed? Can you auto-succeed? Oh, I just made it. I don't know. Can you? Because I'm exceedingly cool. Oh. Well, if you have a six in cool, then yeah, you'll auto succeed. No, I can auto succeed a fear roll. Oh. One time. Is that your thing? You have a yep. thing? Yeah, being extremely cool, I can automatically succeed at any fear roll. Cool. Literally, cool. At any one, or is there a limit per game? But one time. One time per session? Okay, there you go. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Well, this is your one. This is your one. Yep. yep. Okay. I just fucking made it. Awesome. So clearly, this didn't uh, this didn't make you budge either, folks. Amazing. Um, I mean, it makes it makes sense that I came close though, because we're old friends. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. All right. So does this does this look like they experimented on him and turned him into something, or just repurposed his flesh for themselves? Uh, you don't know. Fuck. How about some initiative rolls there, folks? Wrote it. This is an Arby Horse Adventures. 11 again. Amazing. That's a 17 for me. Well, how did I just roll? I'll fix this. Okay. Ah, come back. That's actually a 17. I just wonder 17, if I can Tony? roll higher than an 11 on the initiative. You can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> Bassett, <laughs> declare. Just, last three sessions, the last three initiatives, I've rolled 11. Get better dice. How does yeah. that work? I don't know. I rolled a one, so. <laughs> Bassett, declare. I'll yell out. I'll yell out in horror. Boss, what did they do to you? Fuck. <gasps> no, aim. Okay, aim. 
Uh, Mingas. Mingas is going to move as close as she's going to dash. She's going to get closer. Cool. Davis. Um. Uh, how high are these like pipe look, pipe like looking thingies? They're in the ceiling. In fact, the whole room is steel, so it's I would say it's like maybe a ten foot ceiling. Okay. Oh, okay. So those pipes are just there. on the ceiling, not on the ground. Yes. So you can't yeah. climb on the pipes. Can't climb on the pipes. <laughs> well, it's kind of hard to tell. I got you. I got uh, you. Let's just level it. Uh, I guess I'm. Well, you can't go Trying yet. Taking... You can't move yet, right? We're just declaring. Yeah, yeah. Right. I'll definitely take aim at the, uh... Take aim at the guy, but I'm also... What's going on in the south? Uh, there seems to be a door. Those are sort of steel-reinforced doors. They don't seem to be openable. Oh, okay. Because the then, yeah, I'm lighting focusing on we the can see through it. Yeah. You can see through those doors. Yeah, you can see... Nothing. <laughs> you see, yeah, we can see black through you those see, doors. Yes, exactly. There's, <laughs> there is nothing beyond those doors. You don't want to see those doors. They're not, they're not interesting. Okay, so aim and move, it sounded like, for Davis? Yeah. Okay, the Terminator um, itself is going to sort of lurch forward towards uh, its nearest target, who is Tony. Tony, it is your turn. Tony's going to kind of shake his head and be like, oh, my mate. Always knew it was going to end bloody. And is going to prepare to attack him with the knife if he closes the dis... Oh, no, Tony goes first. So, yeah, I'm going to throw a knife at him. Okay, go for it, Tony. All right. Oh, that knife. Cool. One success, three skills. I am gonna do my minimum damage of two armor damage of one and hit a leg okay you're gonna hit a leg all right um it's not gonna slow him down with the same sort of like it's not gonna like break his leg or anything like that um because yeah leg well it might do a well, wound on have, him yeah, it was like terminators have their own wound chart I'm that's assuming. they they do sort of similar yeah. to that yeah but if they do like if yeah. someone does like a lot of damage uh, to a Terminator, then the, you roll on this on this uh, sort of massive damage. But you chart. can't you can't wound limbs on a Terminator. Or you can. You can, but you have to do a lot of damage to it. Oh, so it's then why does that skill even exist? Okay, then I'm just gonna do the damage. Okay. So five damage. Okay. I and mean, you, there are other you know creatures other than Terminators, right? That you can use combat knives. Not in this scenario. Not in this oh, scenario. No. That's correct. All right, so six damage, eighty one. Five damage, eighty one. Uh, minimum, minimum, minimum damage is two. Right, plus, plus four. From my skills. Oh, plus four damage down there, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, yep. yeah. So plus four damage. So okay. Six damage and eighty one. You got it. All right. And then I'm gonna move my closing speed away from. Him. All right. So the good news is that um, the AD does definitely work, but the, these things have a PV of six, as you guys well know. So. Yep. Uh, no damage is done, unfortunately, with your knife. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the Terminator will... Let's see its speed here. I think it's damaged a little bit. Let's check. Let's see. It's, you know, it's still got still got a five rushing speed, so it will move five rushing speed. It just, like, closes. It says, in that same, sort of, the same voice, almost the exact same intonation. Stop. What are you doing? Stop. Wait, and it like reaches its arms as it's running towards its now closest target, uh, who is uh, who's Bassett actually. She. All right, Davis, you aimed and then you can move. So, remind me, uh, how much movement can we move? Two. Like five. Two is your closing, and five is your rushing. If you weren't aiming, you could move five, but you're aiming, so you can only move two. That's correct. Yeah. Two right. back. Packing up. Yep, fair enough. Minguez? Minguez will go through with what her plan was initially and try and get close to see what's happened to the ex-commander. Yep, moving up five. Yep. Just there. Bit of load. Cool beans. Yep. And then finally, um, Bassett. Aiming. Yeah, Bassett. Bassett is aiming while stepping backwards. 
looking sad. Fair enough. All right, we're back to declaring again. Bassett, go. Bassett will fire a three-round pulse. Cool beans. Minguez. Minguez will, seeing that the now commander is turned more into machine than man, he's just going to aim. Just aim, okay. The, the aim her uh, plasma rifle. Yep, you got it. Um, Davis. All right, so I'm gonna burst fire at the guy. Okay, you're gonna burst fire? Yeah, sure. And the Terminator will, it looks like it's going to move directly for Minguez. And then finally, Tony. Tony is gonna back up. Can't move yet. Can't move yet. Oh, sorry. oh, actually, no. Actually, it's your turn. It's your turn. It's your turn. Like, so it doesn't yeah, really matter. It, it's yeah. your declare yeah. turn. Yeah. Well, yeah. She declares and then she's turn. gonna go. So that's cool. So Tony is gonna back up and just kind of shake his head and be like, "I don't want to fucking do this," and aim. Okay. Fantastic. All right. So Tony moves back and aims. Uh, the Terminator moves in its closing distance and will attempt to attack at Minguez with a sort of grappling, just claw, almost like it's it's claw-like fingers around Minguez's throat. Well, I can't get a sense of deja vu. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. We never do this again. All right, uh, here we go. That's a success. Doing nine damage plus six. So that is 15 damage AD one. Okay. And a wound to the head, a hit to the head, I that, think. Yes, so and a hit to the head. head. Let me give, uh, let me go, let me go with wounds here. Okay. Uh, where is that? Wounds. I might have to look that up. But right now, let's, let's stick without wounds, without head wounds. Let's just go with the damage itself. We'll go with wounds in a little bit. When I when I remember how to use wounds, but that's 15 damage. How much of that is mitigated by your armor? Only four. Okay. Actually, this does an additional two damage and one AD. So it's actually 17 damage and two AD because this guy has a uh, specific kind of chassis. Okay. So, sorry. 17 damage, two AD. So that's minus four. So that's. Are you still standing? That's 17 minus four, that's what? 13. 13. 13, I'm still standing. Oof. It took a bit hit, but I'm still standing. How many hit points you got left? Uh, this many. Five. Mm -hmm. Big hit. Like you watch Minguez just get rocked by this giant metal punch to her gut. And she coughs out blood. Well, it would be to her head, because it's... Oh, that's right, to her head. Just bang. Probably um, a big dent in her helmet. In her helmet, absolutely. All right, Davis, you're up. Oh, well, I was going to shoot, but now things are Yep, really, so things like... are fucked now. So you can change this to an auxiliary if you want, or you can shoot with a minus one to your attack. Auxiliary? An auxiliary action is something other than attacking. Uh, so you can move again if you want. Get a different angle. The only logical thing I think of is like down here too. Yeah, those those are unpassable because they're pipes. But you said they were on they're the ceiling. On the, yeah. No, no, they're on the ground. I didn't say they were on the ceiling. They're on the ground. You did. You said they were on the ceiling. You said they were on the ceiling. But okay. Apologies. They are on the ground. So you can climb on top of them, or they? You can climb on top of them. Yeah, I'll say that you can climb on okay. top of them if you want. It's fine. They're full of <laughs> whatever you want. To think they're full of, but... Apple juice. They're full of apple juice, exactly. Um, yeah. yeah I, I... You could use them for cover. That's basically as well. Then yeah, I'll 
Let's see if I can move into the pipe for like cover then. You can't, like I said, you can, like if you were here or next to Tony, uh, like you could use them for cover there, but you can't move into the pipes. Like that would be. You can go between them, but not under them. Correct. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it. Tell me what you're doing here, Davis. Just falling back. All right, super duper. Um, let's go with who's next? Uh, Minguez. Yeah. Um, is Minguez being held in any way? No, but she just got punched, big time. Well, she's going to stumble back. Is that what you declared, or you're changing your action? Um. I didn't declare oh, that. Oh, are, are we declaring the new round? No, no. This isn't it's still okay. the old round. Because I was, okay, I was aiming at the end last round, but uh. now that the Terminator's got close, she's going to back away from it. Yep. So she can back away her closing distance. So she'll go back to there. Mm -hmm. But seeing as she was still aiming, she will, will fire at this Terminator, and seeing as it's just put a big hit on her, yeah. she's going to try and give it as big a hit and just go full auto with the the plasma, plasma rifle? rifle. Okay. Yep. Hopefully you hit uh, it. Yeah. Full auto is 10 rounds. So you can roll not only your success die, but also all your skill die too. So, no modifiers. Okay. You hit it. Damn, dude! <laughs> 20 damage? Fucking nice. hell! All right. Well, that's mitigated by. Is going to pull out here? Just no, uh, no doubt. You go like you just like get banged in the head, and you like turn around, and you just go ah, and just like full out blasting this guy. Uh, uh, I was kind of thinking that she's probably um been knocked to her ass, so she kind of just squats back and just shooting from the ground. Just I love it. I love it. All right, so 20 damage, 83. Yeah. So, wow. Okay, so that's um, mitigated by six of their PV, so that's 14 damage. Nice. And this this guy just gets just shot up from head to toe with your plasma rifle. Uh, 83, which reduces his PV, or sorry, his resistance yeah. by three. Very nice. Okay, and then finally Bassett is using a medical kit and auxiliary action. It is. Full action. It is an auxiliary action. All right. Uh, Did you want to shoot it or? Bass is going to drop aim, run over the new leader. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to be the leader if you die. So uh, one, two, is that two? Is that yep, good? that's two, that's good. All right. I'm going to try and use a med kit. Here we go. Medical kit, go for it. Oh no. Medical skill. What's my target? Do we remember? Um, I think it was like in the middle of combat. It's higher than if it was like at rest. But I think it depends yeah, on it your. Is a seven? I think it's a seven. Yeah. Each of these kits comes with their own target, but I'm pretty sure that this was a seven. Alright, there we go. Here we go. Mm, yes! Yeah. All right. Fantastic. Okay, so you get right. 1d10 minus 3 hit points back. Plus 2. Plus 2, that's correct. From the awesome medical skills of Bassett. Here we go. Come on! Son of a bitch! It's a, it's a minimum of something, right? I thought I had a minimum of something that wasn't yeah. bullshit. Well, you rolled a three minus three. Three minus three is zero. Plus two is two. <laughs> Fucking hell! Right, I have a thing. I have a thing for this. It's uh, what the fuck is it? Do you want to use fate? You can use fate if you want. I might. Um, you take an extra two just cause, or you already count yeah. for that. Counted that the two. That was the two. Was, that was the two. You rolled a three minus three, plus two. So I rolled a zero. Yep. Yeah. Fuck it. I'll use fate. Use fate. We roll it. Yellow. <laughs> Let me make sure that you have you do have fate points, correct? It would be under it's under luck on your sheet. Yeah, I have two. Two? Okay, so this is one of your two. There we go. 
Well, no, oh no, no! You don't re-roll the success because you already got the success. You just oh, re-roll okay, the great. re-roll great. the the, yeah, the actual amount. That. The healing. The healing. Like that makes it good. Oh, then I just roll a d10. All right, all right. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, d10 minus three. D10 minus, minus three plus two. two. Math, 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 man. Math, 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 math. It's something. There we go. Four. It's better. That's that's two more than two. Yep. It's less bad. All right, you get four points Please. back. Okay. Go. Please stay alive, ma'am. You're at nine. Good stuff, Bassett. All right, declare. Uh, Taking everybody's aims off, since you can't aim more than. I'm gonna dot mine because mine is from the. Yours is from the past one, right? I'm gonna keep trying to heal as long as she don't run away from me. All right. Although she should probably run away from me. You should probably run away from me. Oh (laughs) fuck it! I'll aim. (laughs) Okay, you're gonna aim. (laughs) I just took your aim off. Now you're putting it back on. God damn. I'm sorry. That's fine. Get the fuck out of here! You can't take another hit. Miguez. Come on, get. Come on, get. Miguez. Miguez is just gonna fire. Okay. Right. Cool. Davis. God damn it, Miguez. <laughs> God damn it. They Davis, what are you stop. doing in the back there? I just want to shoot at this point. All right, cool. You've got your aim on, so this will this will allow you to shoot. Absolutely. Uh, the Terminator. Hopefully, I can shoot. Hell yeah! The Terminator will come again after the closest target, who is Bassett. And Tony. Uh, it's still me. Sorry, did I say Bassett? I meant to say Minguez. I get your names mixed up. Minguez. Tony. Tony's yeah. gonna step up here and be like, ah, oh, fuck, you do, the same for, you do the same to me. And is now going to fire with aim. Okay. You're gonna shoot your heavy pistol at it. Yes. Go for it. The only gun I have. All oh, right, I'm damn. gonna use... Okay. I'm using my plus as a skill dice, my aim plus as a skill die success. That's three skill die successes. So it's three damage. Two damage. Plus three, so six. Oh, damage. you're using your extra one, so it's easy. Yeah, it's three damage, yep. Three plus three from the damage I roll. Oh, minimum damage is four, so that makes it seven damage, 180. Superb. All right. Well, you get the final shot on it, Tony, as you blow its head right off. So oh. give me some flavor. Well, uh, that's kind of exactly what he said. He was, he's, mate, I'm really sorry about this, but fuck, you do the same to me. Rest in peace. Bang. Kaboom! And the head just, like... Right to the forehead. Yeah, it, it just, like, the concussive blast of your, of your massive Desert Eagle pistol just takes it in the head, and you just hear a snap of metal as the head falls off the shoulders, you f- you see it sort of, like, reach for its head as if, like, it's still trying to come at you, but then it it just falls to its knees and then clank, 800 pounds of metal just hit the ground. And do the mirror slap. You're done. I didn't even know that was a, that is a thing that you could do to somebody. That's awful. Mingus, come here. Jesus Christ. Try and patch up Mingus a little more. Okay. Yeah, you can do that. Tony's going to walk this. forward, retrieve the knife that he threw. Oh, what the fuck they do to you? And even though he's not terribly smart, he's gonna try and look and figure out, does this look like this is something they patched together or that Miroslav was somehow secretly a Terminator all along? So, this... You, you can't be sure. You know that for, for from what you can see that this thing was trailing blood from another portion of the Skynet compound. Um, it was covered in flesh from the waist up and sort of culminating at the face of Miroslav. It also had the same voice as Miroslav, too. That's what made it even creepier. Menga was Austrian? No, I mean, Miroslav? Miroslav was, was Austrian, yeah. Maybe they didn't finish the process all the way. What if what and if that was him trying to tell us something? Like what did he it. say? He said, "Wait, what are you doing? Go back." Uh, he said, "What are you doing? Stop, please, please stop." Oh no! Then he tried to kill us. So maybe he wanted us to stop because he knew he would have killed us. Maybe he was still in there. Shit! Don't fucking like this at all. I hope we don't know anybody else in here. I can only imagine having the 
small bit of humanity is still left in you. Fuck. You know, I take me. I just wanted to be like all that. at once. Yeah, I, 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 I don't want to be a walking dead. I just want to be over with quick, quick, quick and clean. All right, which way do we think we should go, y'all? Uh, yeah. The door to the south is like, those doors are, can't really go anywhere through there. They look so interesting, though, don't they? I just want to explore every <laughs> inch of it down there. You hit the invisible wall. I just, no, floor, I they got floor fields here, y'all. Floor fields, yes. Exactly. I mean, if we want to know what they did to him. That's a trail. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of blood. Oh, yeah. You do see a big trail of blood that goes into the next corridor. Um, also, the uh, one that I just put on um, Minguez is probably quite accurate. Yeah, broken like, skull. Yeah, messed up. <laughs> I'm going to check it out and see what that wound to your head does in a, in a little bit. Yes. Yeah. I think it's something like if you receive three different wounds or something, you die. Or if you receive a wound to every body part or something, you die. Uh, here we go. Called shots, headshot. I'll find out in a second. You guys keep talking. Oh, a headshot inflicts plus damage. In addition, the target receives a wound to the head and receives the stunned condition. Until that wound so is I couldn't healed. have moved back. You couldn't have, yeah, because you were stunned. But that's okay. Can I make a stealth roll to look out this door and make sure nothing's going to attack me when I walk in the hole? Sure. I'll love that. It's fine. Stunned is... Um, what's the stunned condition? Uh, anyone with a stunned condition is automatically considered to have the lowest initiative value of all combatants. Additionally, a stunned can character can move no faster than their closing speed. So you could have moved your closing speed, actually. Which I did. Which you did. And suffers a minus okay. one modifier to all dice for any skill tests they undertake. Okay. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that on you right now, actually, Minkins. Yep. So your stunned Stay condition on, is removed with medical intervention with, or with at least six hours rest. Well, well we've did, had medical intervention. did just receive medical intervention. That's fair. Then, yes. If that's the case, then, yeah. So your stun condition uh, then will go I think go she, she's probably still a little bit dizzy. Fair. Fair, fair, fair. And uh, she'll um, throw her helmet on the ground and just try and kick out the dent that's now pressing up against the head because yep. of the bunch. I'm with you. Uh, what would my target be to stealthily peer out into the hallway and make sure we're not Relatively going to easy, like a six. Right. Yeah. You sort of peek Very down the good hall. Success. Your light shines down the hall. You see that this blood trail extends down about, oh, I don't know, 40. Oh, I'm going to use meters here. Sorry. I'm going to say it extends down about uh, 11 meters or so into another room. You see sort of a, a dim red light coming from that room. Uh -oh. Feeling we're not going to like whatever we find down here. Oh, well, that's a creepy at all. Mm -hmm. um, does Mirosov have any, like, clothes on left left behind from what we knew of him, or is he just all metal man? Uh, does the, he have dog tags? Yeah, there's nothing but just the flesh that you guys have just shot to pieces, essentially, um, and the the metal endoskeleton underneath. I uh, up and down and close what is left of his eyelids. Not much. Yeah. Move on. I'm gonna start stealthily following this trail of blood. All right. Maybe to the side so I don't make fun of it. <laughs> Okay. Uh, push yourself in the order it looks like that you guys want to be, and it looks like Minguez is following up in the rear here. Stop for yeah. Go ahead and stop there for a for a sec. I'm assuming that Minguez is relatively close by. Yeah. Cool. Just it's, it's slowly approaching because yeah, she's still fine. a little bit dizzy. That's fine. You stay there, <laughs> Minguez, because then I'm going to move you guys to another map. What? It doesn't just end here. That's, that's not it. <laughs> the cliffhanger. <laughs> There's a random cliff in there. Where did that come from? Who knew? <laughs> All right. All right. Where are we hanging off? Tony's here. Yep. Bang, bang, boom. Okay, cool. So let me move you guys to this map. 
All right. Um, as you, Tony, step onto uh, the area, probably where it's sort of the threshold between this room and the next, um, small sort of fluorescent lights fill the space around six, sorry, I beg your pardon, seven glowing red cylinders, about 10 feet, no, let's make it wider, 15 feet in diameter. Um, here's what they uh, look like. New map. New map. I don't like that. That's right. Now, fucking like this. the, um, the vats, because there are uh, seven of which are uh, made of glass uh, or some kind of s sort of shiny membrane, as far as you can tell, are filled with some kind of a bright red fluid and are supported by steel chassis and are closed at the top. Um, and you can see that one of these vats has been punctured. Clearly the location of the blood and the trail of bloody footprints leading away from the vat to the place where you found Miroslav. But the seven still filled vats are sort of illuminated from within. So you guys can examine them if you'd like. I think we're going to do just that. Go up yeah, to Yeah, you can the examine them if you want, yeah. Gonna go up to the closest one Tony in the doesn't want to. Tony is staying far the fuck away from these vats. Understandable. Um, Tony, uh, you stay away. Davis, it looks like, and Minguez, you sort of like press your face up against these things, and you see that inside are the curled up sort of fetal forms of Terminators. And as you see that their metal endoskeletons are sort of held in this fetal position. You see small, like infinitesimally small robots, like nanobots, fitting flesh microscopically onto their forms and smoothing the, what you can only assume to be, uh, stolen skin of dead humans over their skeletal frames. Miroslav wasn't yelling at us, y'all. He was re repeating his last words to us. Is this considered normal for how Terminators are made as do far we, as we are aware? You have never yes, seen a Terminator we, be made, so you have no idea. Do we know, do we know that infiltrators exist yet? In you have... World? You have heard of them. So, yes. You've never seen one up close. You've only known about the endoskeleton units. But, I mean, you've heard about the T-600s, which, which had rubber skin. Mm -hmm. You guys took one down yourself. But these look... This guy looked like Miroslav. He sounded like Miroslav. Are you guys describing what you see to those of us who decided not to get anywhere near them? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I'm thinking after looking in this and seeing that they're building the body and it's starting to look a lot like Miroslav, uh, Ninge is just going to lean back against the tube and address the rest of the party and just say, they're putting flesh onto terminators onto endos that look like Miroslav microscopically piece by they piece. all look like Miroslav in there well the one oh. that I'm looking at does Davis same with yours what does mine look like it looks like Miroslav oh yeah it's almost like almost rather a replica you're telling me they can make a fucking endo that looks like one of us? Really? I was right. I do not fucking like this. Is, how, how we, uh... How 
probably kill them before they... Uh, and can you, ma'am, can you please not lean your back against that? I just make me so nervous. Can you... Is there a way we can just, like, shut the power off to these things and just let them drown in there? Is that a thing? Pretty one way to find out. Tony, as you approach this sort of eastern side of this room that you see, you do, in fact, see this sort of gleaming, um, brightly lit corridor leading to the east, stretching back into, from your vision, a much larger room, which is very, very dimly lit. But you can't see it that well from your position. One thing I know is we can't let them send one of those back, if that's what they're even doing. Minga is probably going to look into her backpack and see how many explosive charges she has. I'm going to say you have you have enough explosives to blow this whole room if you wanted to. But that's well, it. I was thinking of putting a charge on each of the tubes. You could put explosives on the tubes, absolutely. Yeah. But then you would have no explosives have left. Yeah. Don't that's what I was just asking. asking. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, we stick them in. Because we still need to blow up the tele the time portal. Thing. Well, then if you well. if yep. you yeah if you if you put all of your explosives in these on these tubes, you will have no explosives left for the time displacement device. Yeah. So. So it's your choice. So Mingus will just say to the party, I would blow these tubes up, but we need the explosives for the time displacement device. How much longer do you think we have until the next one pops out and leaves a trail of blood to us? No telling. Yeah, it's blow displacing. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah? All right. Agreed. Let's get out of here. Oh, please don't let anything blow me up when I step in here. And it's a late Tony, break. as soon as you step onto that particular portion of the corridor, mm -hmm. um... You see like that the floor begins to move, conveyor belt style. And well, the, the conveyor belt actually um, starts to sort of push you back towards the vats. You hear... No. Fuck me. Davis, can you take care of that? Can you make it turn off so we can get down there? Davis, make a detect sure, roll. Good. Make a detect roll. Uh, detect. Uh, target number? Uh, make us make it a seven. Um, okay. at the other end of the corridor, you do happen to spy a uh some kind of a console that you could potentially hack. Nice. But you'd have to get all the way to the other end of the corridor on a reverse uh, conveyor belt. Is there possibly like a panel of some kind on this side of the area? Of the there room? is not. <sighs> yes. Davis is going to have to run. Do you think that that panel controls the conveyor belt? Or them. Because if it does if it doesn't control the conveyor belt, if it controls them, then we'll just jam some shit in this belt right here and block it up. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to know without Well messing around with the mechanism. Hmm. Well mate, I suggest you fucking uh, run. Just then. a quick question. Did the belt move only when um Tony stepped on it? Yes. I think so, yeah. Or, do, or is it like stopped at the moment? And right, then now it, stopped, right now it has sorry, stopped. When, right now it has stopped. Yeah. yeah. As soon and as Tony get, Tony got, like, down, got it, pushed it back on to the into the vat room, the conveyor belt stopped. Is it like that on the right side and the left side? Both sides. And both sides go towards us. Both They're sides go like towards opposite. you, yeah. It's one belt. Right. It's not like, you know, a belt that goes one way, belt goes the other way. Like an airport. Yeah, exactly. 
I can't say I've ever was built for uh, physical activity, though. Oh my god, just you fucking say. run, mate. Alright, fine. I'll go. Unless you want me to this. try it, but that's not a good idea. I mean, what's he gonna do when he gets down there if it just bolts him back to us? He can't hack in that condition. How fast did the conveyor belt move, like, to move when it was back? It moved pretty fast. I would say it moved at, like, closing speed. Like, five meters. So, I'm guessing. Pretty fast. So, I would have to sprint. You would. I'd have to make you make an athletics check. Oh. Yes. Well, it seems that the belts are pressure sensitive, so if we can alleviate the pressure sensitivity, like maybe just lift it up a little bit, it will move. Lift it how? I don't know, get a gun underneath there and just jimmy it up a little bit. It only needs to go up a little bit, then the pressure sensitive pressure sensor won't activate. Or we just fucking run. I go to run. Oh, for fuck's sake. Davis, what you doing? We can't throw Davis, can we? I mean, you can try. <laughs> right, let's see what happens. Are these... Does this look segmented like multiple belts, or is that just the art? That's just the art. Okay. Just Are right. the walls smooth, or is there anything to hang on to in there? Make a detect roll, Bassett. Alright. Target seven. Okay. Accept your challenge. <laughs> I love this character. I'm never gonna stop being it. <laughs> All right. Very nice success there, Bassett. Bassett, as like everyone's arguing, world. you look at the walls, you see there are small holes in the walls. Very. You assume that the holes in the walls might be for some kind of a, like a, a unit that might actually compress them. Like this. Yeah, Davis, you're not going down there. Mm. You don't have a, yeah, see, you remember that old movie Star Wars? Anyway, you're not going down there. You don't have a thing where you can just do it remotely from back here? You can't hack shit from back here? Not that. No, I don't. Any of you here has got a 10 foot pole? I mean, more than 10 no. feet. I mean, I could try and blow it. That would stop it. We need those explosives. But, yeah, we need those explosives. Are there anything other routes out of this room? Minyeti is going to search the room, see if there's any other ways out. I'll spare you the trouble. There is no way in or out of this room besides the way you've come in and the way out down the corridor. So, we have to go down this conveyor belt. We don't have to get squashed to death, no. Maybe if you just do it fast enough. This is a quandary. My what? Oh, sorry, I was muted. Is it gonna require hacking or can we just hit a fucking button at the other end? Do we know? Can we tell from here? It that's, doesn't that's look true. like a button. It doesn't look like the easy button from Staples. It looks like a console. All the other right. consoles this far have easy buttons. You run. I'll drag you. Can we do working together emphasizing risk? Yes, you certainly can. So. Where I assist Davis by dragging his ass down the fucking cord. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Um, let me go back to uh, emphasizing risk for what I Mind remember. Is yeah, working as a team, emphasizing risk is that the lead, the person who has the highest skill, is actually a supportive person. 
and performs mm -hmm. a skill role in a related skill to support the lead uh, 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 who is the actor who is who's actually the person who's like the person who's not as good with a plus one to the actor's success die. So what is so, what is the person for so, so for example if the skill is the athletics, right? Yeah. And it, it it's necessary for Davis to make that athletics role, even though Davis isn't the best at it. Someone who is really good in athletics is going to make a role in a related skill, and if that succeeds, that would give Davis a plus one to his success die. So what would be related to athletics? Well, make a make a case a for dexterity. it. Dexterity. Oh, bribery. Bribery. Climbing. <laughs> Climbing, absolutely. Climbing would work. There you go. I'll make a climbing roll to assist you. And only one person can help. That is correct. Just... Otherwise, it wouldn't be risky, would it? Mm -hmm. But we go get your ass down there some way. Make your decisions, folks. The future is counting on you. And the best. Suggestion. And the best. Mm. I mean, this the only thing that I can think of is risk it and risk it for a biscuit. <laughs> Either that or some weird Australian phrase, right? Risk it for what, a risk biscuit. it for a biscuit. I don't even know what the hell that means. <laughs> Never heard that before. I like it though. I'm gonna tell it to my American friends, and they're gonna think I'm weird. It's fine. Um, so either that or I could expend my charges on no, blowing we're not doing that. the no. servos. We are not doing this. that. Or maybe jam something in the conveyor belt, like that go up new. and get the Terminator arm and shove that in the gears. If you want to try that, try that. But if that doesn't work, Davis got run. Mm. Well, I, I mean, we run. may be able to just do one belt section. Uh, it's all one belt. It's just art. Yep. Yeah. It's all one belt. I'll go, I'll go get okay. a limb. To rub. Yeah. Okay. Bassett. Tony, can I borrow your knife? Bassett jogs off to pull the, the fragmented yeah. arm of that Terminator. Yeah. Runs yeah, back. We'll with it. In and Minguez will try and get it off. Okay. You sort of shove the broken steel like into one of the 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 holes inside the and you sort of realize almost right away that like the fingers will go in. Like not the not the nub of the elbow or whatever it is. The fingers yeah. sort of go in. They go in. And it's not like, you know, a flush fit. It's and got as wiggle I do room. I say here, let me give you a hand. Throw You're something welcome. at you, Ashley. I will throw something at you through the internet. You encourage this behavior. I do. You're right. I'm sorry. I throw something at myself. <laughs> All right. There's a hand. I, There's a I hand. A, Go ahead. I put a foot on the conveyor belt. Okay. So, like, did it jam it up enough where it, it bunged up? So, Bassett, you put your foot on the conveyor belt. <laughs> you hear this sort of, like, grinding of metal. And you see the the hand going like. Uh -huh, uh -huh, um, uh -huh. it doesn't jam up the conveyor belt, but it definitely slows it down. Well, that's something, y'all. I just saw there's something else. But I'm just, I don't think we'll have the resources for it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Now's the I'm best chance as any. All right, I'm gonna make a climbing roll. I'm gonna try to use my climbing grip to make sure that arm stays jammed and slowing down the belt. Okay. What is the target of this climbing roll? I'm going to make it seven. All right. That is a success. One success, three skill successes. Very nice. It's a, good, it's a very good success. Very nice. Okay. And that gives him a plus one plus to his success die. So, Davis, you going to do that athletics roll for me? Yeah, what's the target number? This is going to be tougher, because you're going to have to run. Not as tough as it would be if it hadn't been that hand in there. 
Um, so it's instead of a instead of an eleven, it's going to be a nine. And the success die modifier. You get a one. you get a success die of plus one. Okay. Got some fingers. And, and no dice modifier. No, no dice no modifier. Skill no skill dice. dice. That is zero. Would you like to use fate to try to reroll that? Do you have any fate points, Davis? They would be luck on your skill to, on your character sheet. I mean, I have three luck. That means you have three fate. Well, yeah, use one. Yeah, I'm gonna use. One. So reroll. Just hit that reroll button. Reroll success or just reroll? No, re just reroll the whole thing. go you can't i mean you, you can you oh balls Damn it. did he oh he only hit. so here's what happens davis uh you watch as uh tony starts to like climb along the walls grabbing and pulling davis uh with him davis is like i'm trying to and like even though the conveyor belt is moving relatively slowly now uh davis you're just like running and you're like i can't i can't keep up tony i can't keep up and tony you find as you're climbing the walls are indeed they're, they're not like, it's not like a smasher, right? An atom smasher. It's slowly going and slowly closing in. And can I, is there any chance I can make it back? You, you, I mean, you can just like stand on the conveyor belt and move your way back. But yeah. you guys get oh, to about, you guys get to about the one third waypoint. Right, you get to about here before you're pushed back. And when there is nothing else on the conveyor belt, the walls <laughs> retract. I have another idea, but it's it's going to be an out there idea. Much better than what we got. And Mingos will just be pondering and just say, uh, Bassett, um, in that metal hooket, do you have any uh, salt? I got smell and salt. No, actual salt. I mean, it is technically it's sodium chloride. And sulfur and some other shit. Because I remember back in my mechanic days, some people would use salt to seize an engine. If we can pour salt into the gears of the conveyor belt, we may be able to seize it. All right. Try it's a long shot. But... It, it is a long shot, and I like I like long shots. Uh, here's what I'm gonna say, Bassett. If you use your um, your your salts here in the same way, I'm gonna say it reduces the effectiveness of your medical kit. But it's already so useless as it is. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I can't make it worse. Then it's going to give going people back three hit points. Two. Right? Yeah, it's gonna give. People, well, I mean, you just have to roll better. I'm sorry, Bassett. That's all I have to say. <laughs> yeah. uh, instead of getting like a five, uh, try to get like higher numbers. The um, why did I think of that? It's, oh, I'm sorry. Um, it's going to reduce it from I think it's a one d ten minus three. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's yeah. gonna be one d ten minus four. All right, you're a boss. Here we go. You got a medical kit. Hand you a glass tube full of little crystals. Cool. And Mingez will try and find where the, and ex, as much as she can in excess, point to the gears and just pour salt onto them. Okay. And partially activate the belts so it actually gets melted in there. Okay. I mean, it takes a while. Like, you have to step on the thing in order for it to, like, you know, yeah. really wind itself into the gears. And uh, yeah. organic material... Uh, into inorganic material uh, seems to actually work. You watch as the gears go and like smoke starts to come out of them and you like watch the the uh, the doors, sorry, the walls like go and then slowly but surely you watch as the uh, the belt, it's like it just goes and it completely seizes up and stops. The walls, however, have stopped about halfway in so instead of a um 
instead of a four meter wide space, now it is only um, two meters wide. So let me just sort of draw that on the uh, on the thing here. So good idea, boss. So a bit more tight. But... Yeah, and it makes the. That's why you're in charge. It makes it about this wide. So you can't go four yeah. abreast anymore. Now you can only go two abreast. And Davis can stand on it without being pushed back now? That's correct. Davis, you're going to have to go can. fast here. Davis, as soon as you run across the midpoint of the, um, uh, of the uh, uh, corridor, um, you are able to see uh, at the far end not only the, um, uh, the console, but you also see that there is a enormous, brilliantly lit door. Uh, no words over it or anything like that. Um, but it is a you know, with with the walls sort of closed in as it is, um, it leads into an enormous chamber on the far side of it. It's a chamber. Yeah. The doors are in fact open. Do you want to go in? Or do you want to go to the terminal first? I'm curious about what, what's going on with the terminal. Well, the, the console is actually over here. All right, here's the right. console all the way over here. So you go all the way down to the end of the corridor. I'm okay. following him at a distance. Sure, sure. Uh, well, you can't actually see the console anymore because the walls have sort of closed in around it. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that console? No, I'm sorry. I beg your pardon. Not that console. That console's fine. Oh, so yeah, you're fine. Yeah, you sort of like you notice that the walls are fine there, and here to here. Uh, so what's this, what's special about this particular console? Um, well, you can certainly try to hack into it if you'd like. Sure. Okay. Cool. So here's our first introduction into hacking. Um, hey. Hey. So what I'm gonna do very quickly for you, my friend Scepter, is I'm gonna move only you and you only to the first hacking map, which is right here. I'm gonna show uh, everyone the hacking map. Ooh. Hopefully Ooh. you guys can all see that. Can you guys all see that? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. So the way hacking works is pretty simple. Um, you uh, make your uh, 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 hacking roles, uh, your computer skill roles, in order to determine where it is that you're trying to enter the system. Um, if you get a success, you get to choose. If you don't uh, succeed, but still make your skill roles, uh, then it will roll randomly on the position that you come into on the system. So let's start with uh, your, your hacking role. So I just try and find out where the hacking is. Uh... Yeah, sure. Or I can just roll a d6. You want me to just roll a d6 to see you determine which IO port you come in on? Sure. Super. All right, so you can roll a d6. All right, three. That brings you down to the lower left, actually. So let's bring you down. Ah. Ooh, right over here. Now, just as a reminder of where all these things are as you sort of like tap, 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 tap. Um, this is obviously not a physical description of the system itself. This is a uh, physical topography of the system. Let me see if I can just zoom in a little bit more here. Uh, so our friends in chat can see. Um, and just a detail of the uh, architecture of this sort of topography within the computer. Um, obviously, where you are is the triangle, which is the inception point, which is where you come into any system. All of these little circles are inflection points where you can go from one node to another node to another node. Um, the nodes that have the uh, the white bar on them are OR uh, nodes, or which means that you need to have one node next to it captured in order to capture the, that particular node. These nodes with the pluses on them over here are AND nodes, which means that you need to capture all of the nodes around it in order to capture this node. Make sense? If you fail your hacking roll each time, um, and I'm, we're going to sort of roll quickly uh, on, on how this is going to work, because this is, this, is, uh, 
you, you know, this is, this is, it, it's kind of boring for you to hack while everyone else is just like, what else is going on? Um, so we're going to make this a timed test. Okay. Um, in real time. Okay. So, which means you have to be quick on that, on that trigger finger and quick on your actions here. So I'm going to set a time limit. I'm going to set a time limit of in real time, five minutes, right? So I'm going to set my snaz for five minutes as soon as you start hacking into the system. And you will need to make a decision as to what you want to do within these five minutes. Cool beans? Uh, yeah, okay, but what am I rolling? So for hacking, uh, you are rolling. If you look at the uh, thing that I sent you, the, the, the uh, hacking document, um, your computer skill, right? You have a computer skill, right? Uh, yeah, I do, yeah. Superb, excellent. You are the hacker, so you should have a computer skill. And you're going to be rolling it against the encryption value of the actual system. Now, this is a Skynet system. It's not some, you know, uh, some, you know, Apple IIe or whatever it is. Uh, this is a system that's relatively complicated, but it's not like the most complicated system in the world. So with that said, right, right. you are going to be rolling it against the encryption value. This encryption value is a 7. Okay, so that's what you're rolling against. Now, if you fail the initial ex uh, execution of the vulnerability scan, um, certain bad things will occur, but if you succeed, then you are in, as they say. All right, are you ready to start? So I'm just rolling the computer and that's it? Once you start, we're gonna start the timer. Okay. Say when. So remind me of when, when I captured the white, I, I, I got the spam and the... Yes, thing. you got the spam and the, and the trojan. trojan, which you can use for every additional success. Okay. Cool? Okay. All right. Yeah. When you're ready, sir. Right. Yeah, man. Okay, so go ahead and make your roll. Okay. Uh, target number seven, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Each one is going to be target seven. Okay, so that's a success with three additional skill successes. So that's really good. Number one, it doesn't activate um, uh, NetSec, which is this network security. Um, it allows you to flawlessly enter the system without uh, alerting any kind of problems. Not only that, but you are able to hack in and um, you are now able to perform any actions. In this case, the action that you can perform on additional uh, turns are move, capture, um, and uh and deploy countermeasures if you wanted to so you're in the system so now go ahead and make your additional roll you are in another computer skill right uh yes always computer skill that's always gonna be target seven that is correct yep. okay Okay. okay. So three not no, one skill one success and three skill successes. So you can succeed and then use your skill successes to, to capture nodes and, and deploy countermeasures. Up to you. Uh as far as I'm aware, I should probably like capture uh, a node like being this thing, right? You can capture yeah. a node, yep. Yep. Yeah. L is the locks for the doors. Right. That is correct. the hydraulics, so. That's correct. Which we already blew. Yeah. I'm moving to the green, like this thing right here. Okay, very good. You move, and then. Yeah. Yep, you got very two more. Sure. So, like, another computer, or? No, you have two more successes, right? Your skill successes are additional actions that you can take, right? Right. So I can capture this thing here. That's correct. So now you're able to manipulate the locks to the doors. Cool. Open the locks. So now I just kind of like... And then okay, so get I'm... out. Okay. Anything else you want to do? Or do you want to execute... The... You just want to exit the system? Gleam the cue, oh. boy. <laughs> Whoever wanted to mess and more with this... You'd have to go along the path to those things up there at the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you well, do, I would drop the Trojan. We already there. blew those hydraulics. Yeah. But then maybe he can get him to retract. If it matters. Yeah. I don't know I'm it sorry, does. it's just my my cure, my greed is going to me. I'm also wondering, well, like, what the hell is that thing? So that is that's the, the node. One that if you want to get, yeah, sorry. No, that's well, fine. if you want to hack NetSec. If you want to hack network security, you'd have to you'd have to capture this node, and this node, and then that. and then this node. Yeah. yeah. So, but that's a risk. 
definitely a risk because so. once netsec gets activated they'll first it starts going to start one. burning the nodes that's correct mm -hmm. so what do you want to do is that though if you do move i would put a like a trojan down there yeah i'm gonna move over here and put a trojan well you can't move yet you have to actually roll right because yeah. you use your three yep okay okay fine okay fine <laughs> okay fine. <laughs> risking for a biscuit there you go. Okay, that very good. Yeah, you one, skill three. Okay. So deploying a Trojan here. Okay, you're deploying a Trojan there. Yep. I'll put a T there. Uh, uh, moving up here. Move, Trojan, move. Yep. Yep. Do I have one more move? Or you no? have one more, yeah. Okay, uh, that's yeah. three. That's three. So, one, two, three, four. You're good. Anything I'll else you want to do? Computer, right? Pardon me? Yeah. So, capture this one? So, everyone that you've moved, you've captured, right? So, you've captured, uh, yeah. Okay, okay. In fact, it's probably easy for me to so, just put a check mark on the ones that you've captured. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. How much time do I have left? Uh, let me see. You have two minutes, uh, sorry, 56 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay, I'm gonna make up one more, one more computer. Okay, go. One more computer. Spam yep. That. One success and three. Go ahead. Tell me what you want to do. Okay. Quick. So, so I'm, I'm gonna go. Up one, and, two. Yep. Up and around. Three. And move down to the bomb one. That's it. You've captured all of them, including net, uh, and you've captured and and disabled netsec for that particular console. You have 20 seconds. Okay, okay. Get now. I'm, I'm logging out. You log out to, to, securely. Amazing. You can go up to yeah. secure log out. No, he can. He can went out, but the way he came, he was fine. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm out. And that's the way that you hack. Well done. <laughs> okay. Back you go. Whew. Okay. okay. I, I don't know what all any of that was, but it seemed like well, well, and so thank you. So, so question is: Is Davis sweating bullets at the moment? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I don't have. Look, look at this guy. Hold on. I mean, hold on. I'm just gonna give you. Uh, I'm just gonna give you a, a, a like. Look at that guy. Just look at him. He's never not stressed out. <laughs> Wait, what? That he's never not stressed out. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, so you've personal you, motto. Why God? Why? <laughs> you've disabled so Netflix for that particular console. Mode. Sorry, apologies, I'm Davis. Go ahead. Right, right, I'm still stuck on the computer screen, by the oh, way. Oh, you are? My bad. Sorry, I'll, I'll change that. I knew it. Mm. Uh, as he steps away from the console, change will be like, well, y you done? Yeah, we're good. Great. Yeah. We unlocked we're doors, so. Okay. Yeah. See what else wants to kill us. Okay. One so, final chamber remains. You're like coming. Yes, ma'am. I mean, you're sure. Uh, Tony, with happen? his beard, just kind of looks at you like, huh? <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> what? <laughs> Let's go. Cool. I think bringing up the rear again. Whoosh! Okay. So makes me nervous, even though kind of stuff is usually something I'm supposed to enjoy, but... Okie dokie. Now, now, now you are in the heart of it. You are in the heart of it, as you're exactly correct. So let's move the four of you now into the final map. This is where we all die. <laughs> Holy shit, y'all. Wow. So, oh, as you enter up. this room... I will place you all. Hopefully you guys can all see this room. Ooh. Yes. Nice looking room. It is. So many wires. Um, where are you guys? Are you guys, can you guys see each other or no? I can't see. No. I see the That's map, fine. I don't see us. That's yeah, fine. I, I will map. bring you onto the map. There's Davis. There is Mingus. There's Tony. And there's Bassett. Okay. What you see in this room 
is kind of astounding. The corridor culminates in a huge oval room. There are banks of computer terminals at the furthest point of the room, with a series of cables running off of it and looping around one another, forming a huge mound of wiring in the center of the chamber, surrounding a small raised platform of white plastic and yet more steel. There is a faint blue nimbus surrounding the platform, and the lingering scent of ozone infects the air nearby. This is the time displacement device. Nearby the device is a mounting platform, onto which you see four vats, three of which are already on the loading platform, emptied out completely, and another still full with its uh, passenger still inside. The walls of the chamber are lined with batteries of power cells, each cabled into the computer banks or into the time displacement device itself. The thrumming noise that you heard below earlier is much louder here. The whirring of machines, the endless click and beep of computer panels diverting power to the displacement device makes anything below a shout almost inaudible. The air itself is electrically charged. You feel a strange sort of popping in your mouths as your saliva bursts in little static charges. The task is now simple. You need to activate the time displacement device by hacking into the chamber's control terminal near the platform. Yeah, pretty sure that's the thing we got to blow up. We need to activate the time displacement? I thought we were here to destroy it. Um, yeah. You notice that one of these um, uh, Terminator uh, pods or vats is still here, but the other three are empty. Using some quick logic, that means that three Terminators have already been subject to the device and have gone back in time. Grief. That is clearly not good. Well, if they were successful, we would have been blipped out of existence, right? So maybe it's not all bad? Doesn't work like that. Yeah. Time science roll, please. <laughs> I'm not kidding. There is a time science skill. Um, unfortunately, on your character sheets, it, it's not nominated as time science. Um, but I believe I have it for you guys is some other skill. I'll tell you what it is, Bassett. It is... Uh, Reality? Oh. No, no, no. It's Lord. education, uh, education, um, natural, or oh. edu natural. Target. I don't know shit, but I'm gonna roll it anyway. Time science wise, this is not a difficult thing. Um, well, actually, sort of like split uh, timelines and all that fucking like different multiverse com combinations. I would say that for you, it's probably gonna be like a ten. That's hard. This is like this is mind bending shit. Yeah, you... Nope, don't know shit. Don't know shit. Oh. Davis does. I'm not scared. Bassett! Of that, but... Fucking hell! Nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm not Are we, are we both? Yes. Bassett, you know... The irony, Bassett is about to contradict himself. Yes, exactly. Bassett, you're like, wait, that, that, that doesn't, that doesn't fadge. <laughs> Um, Just had to talk it out. The current timeline as it is may or may not be a split timeline from the sort of real timeline. So you haven't been blipped out of existence, true, but your entire timeline might at some point be blipped out of existence. You just wouldn't know it because you're on a separate branch. It's like Back to the Future. Remember Back to the Future? Yeah. Um, when... Um, uh, when Marty McFly changed exactly, he made an alternate 1985. So it could be that you're living in an alternate 23-1 right now. So, 
we blow the shit sky high, or do we jump in after him? I think Davis should have a look at the actual computers to see what he can find. That's a good idea. Because, yes, I mean, sir. if we can find a... I mean, it's going to be a long run, but if we can actually get control of this, we may be able to send someone back in time to help. Yeah, no I'm, guessing only, I'm guessing the only computer, computer program I could probably access is the one like this one or like that, like the, the either or. Um, the consoles that you would use to, excuse me, to activate the actual time displacement device is like right here. Ah. Oh. And then Just... Ninguez will go to um, Bassett and Tony. Uh, cover Actually, Davis and I... keep an eye on that final... I do beg your tube. pardon, because uh, Jesper has made it very clear as to which things are consoles and which things are not. There is a console here at the, the sort of bottom right-hand corner, which looks like the console from outside. And then there's one over here that's also a console. I was... I, uh, I, I mean, I didn't you are a smart was... man, after. You are smarter than <laughs> I am. So indeed, I would say that yeah. one of these two consoles could certainly be used. Okay, uh, making my way down south. Sure. <laughs> Squeezing past some of these tubes. Okay. On uh, Mingus's stand, order. And right, um, I'm gonna stand right here and just have my gun trained on that. On the Terminator in there? Sure. On the Terminator yeah. tank, yeah. Yep. Okay. Fast, yeah. Fascinating piece of machinery. Okay. All right. So, are you ready to hack? All right, let's play this song and dance. Okay. All right, get in there. So, here's what we're going to do now a little differently. Because, mm -hmm. um, as you begin to hack, first of all, I would like you to start with your, uh, you know, your actual hacking role, which is the, um, the execute vulnerability scan. But I'm going to give you a, I'm going to give you the difficulty. I don't think you're going to be very happy with it. It's a 10. Yeah. I'm rolling for what? That's your the your, vulnerability. your yeah the vulnerability scan. Remember the encryption value of this of the system. It's yeah, a ten. What? Oh, computers again. Yeah, computers. computers definitely computers. Perfectly. You have to get a ten. You need. Okay, so just so straight computers. Yeah. Ah straight yeah. Computers, but the but the success number is ten. Okay, that is a failure. So here's what happens, Davis. You start hacking in. And you see that the the screen sort of lights up red, and you see like in strange binary code because why would they be speaking in English? Um, um, it's like a lot of like ones and zeros, and luckily you know this stuff, and this is not good. This is very very bad. Number one, netsec has been activated, and number two, you hear the hiss of something to the south of you and something to the north of you as the yeah, doors that you didn't notice were right behind start to slowly open behind of which is a small comp apartment containing oh two friends i would say mm -hmm. uh-huh yeah Mingus, I think it's time to start uh, priming some explosives, yeah? Let's go ahead and roll initiative. You don't need this kind of stuff down. anymore. 17 again. All right. Let's see if I can get an 11 again. Double digits, at least. Here we go. Yeah, I still try to mess around with this thing, even when the... Oh, no, I, I count upon it. On your turn is when you will be messing around with it. So, here's what we've got. Yeah, it got higher than 11 this time. I'm going to yeah, be hey. sort of switching you guys back and forth um, on Davis's the turn. Yeah, because yep. Davis is going to be hacking a lot. So, we want to make sure that he does it the right way. Um, Davis, because you didn't hack correctly, NetSec is in fact engaged, which means that NetSec is, is now on their turn. They're going to start burning nodes. But I want you to roll a D6... 
because you did get some skill dice successes. So roll a d6, and it'll tell you where it is in the system that you actually ended up. A four. Okay, um, on your turn, um, I will place you on the four. Oh, there you are, down there in the bottom left. Okay. Okay. So we'll move we'll move everybody to that map on on uh, Davis's turn. Okay. Um, I will now roll for Lowe's Terminators. Um, ba uh, sorry, Minguez, you're closest to the door, which is open. Um, you also happen to notice uh, from way down at the other end of the corridor to the west, you hear the sound. <laughs> the sound of wet whips and thuds coming out of oh, something no. as Skynet oh, attempts to defend itself no. with the remaining seven Terminators from the other room. Jesus Christ. Okay. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Where is it? There it is. Okay, let me switch to this room. And roll. F I'm just gonna put all the Terminators in one, one initiative. How's that sound? Oh boy, oh. bad. Sound fire. Sixteen. All right. Descending. Two. Looks like everybody's good. Davis, declare, please. Oh, actually, it's your turn. So let's let's move you to the the hacking chart. Well, it's actually not your turn yet. Oh, not your declare. Turn. What is it that you want to declare to do? Hack, I assume. Hacking. Yeah. Hacking. Yeah. Hacking. Super Hacking. Bassett. Uh, I'll rush to Davis. Cool. Minguez? Uh, Minguez is hearing the, uh, the bat via both bats on the other end. He's going to probably do a tactic scroll and set up explosives. Okay. At, at the end of this conveyor. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm loving it. Um, VT um, 800. Can you do that? Can you run and set up explosives? Uh, no, I'm doing tactics and set up explosives. I don't know exactly that's... what you want to use tactics for. That's my problem. I'm sorry. Uh, basically, um, organize the. Basically, tell the other two to. It's not going to give any um, kind of a mechanical it's... bonus, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Right? Uh, okay. Tactics yeah. is just sort of uh, like. Yeah. You just don't yeah. Around. Bonus. yeah. Well, okay. Then she's just going to set up the. Um, explosives and say to Bass and Tony, protect Davis. Cool. What are you trying to attach Same. the, uh, just for clarity, what is it that you want to attach the explosives to? Uh, attach the explosives to the conveyor belt and then when the Terminators get close, set them off. If they do go off, you will go with them. That's a lot of yep. explosive firepower. I'm just saying. Yeah. Okay. Well, she's, I mean, she's not going to stay there. Oh, no, no, no. You missed my point. The kind of explosives that you have will blow probably a city block sky high. Yep. We so, I'm just saying. Yeah, They're boxed in. There's hey, no okie dokie. So. It, it, works, it works in my mind. Uh, thanks, super. Thanks, thanks for choosing suicide for all of us. We appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, the T-800s will move to the closest target um, that is causing a problem for Skynet, and that is Davis on this side. And it is, who is closest? Who is closest? Probably Bassett. Yeah, I think Bassett's closest on the other side. Cool. And then Tony. Um, gonna move over here so I can actually get a clear line of fire. Well, it's gonna move. So yeah, I'll stay where I am and... Oh, wait, no, because I go first. Yeah, I'm going to step down here to where I can actually... Can I see it from here to shoot at it? Can you see the Terminator? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Then I'm going to... Actually, I'm going to aim at it for now. I'm going to aim. Cool. All right, put the aim marker on you. I will. Cool. All right, the Terminator... No problem, no problem. Um, so you're aiming at the Terminator. The Terminator moves out of its little hidey hole here um, and sort of moves one um, here and fires at Davis. 
Oh, he doesn't have cover behind that like server. Oh uh, no, he does have cover. So I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna give him a little bit of cover. So he'll take um, a minus one success penalty on. Okay. Minus one. Okay, that is one success. Bam! It shoots Davis real hard, oh doing Jesus a lot. Twenty-two damage with four AD. Twenty-two damage. How much is your uh, resistance on your armor, there, Davis? Twelve. Okay, so that oh, your does TV. your. No, that's no, your, that's your, your resistance. Yeah. So that's down by four. Correct. And what's the um, the PV? I think it's four. PV is four, so it's reduced by four. Okay, so twenty-two minus four is eighteen. It's eighteen. I only had 17 health. Oh, no! Shut one there is, there is, hold on, wait. Do you have any hope points in body? Well, that's a good point. No. Oh, no! <laughs> yeah, thanks. I think this just blew away Davis. I'm looking to see if there's, like, any hope I got... things that he can do. I only got brains and bravado. Well, now your brains are all over the floor. <laughs> I still got your bravado, son. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Thanks. <laughs> she is. Anything else? Oh, Sarah's scanning the, the notes, like, yeah. so hard. Hey. Yeah, no, there's nothing. Fuck. Uh. Anyone else got any computer skills? <laughs> Oh man! We were all gonna die. Davis gets wasted. One shot. Oh, dude! I didn't even get to do it. You did it. Well, you got to hack once. Trust me, it was not. It was yeah. not. It was not gonna be pleasant. Oh. You you started off real bad. You're like, oh fuck, I failed that one. It alerted NetSec, and it was bad, bad, bad. One one mistake, and I'm dead. Ba Boom! And Davis just takes it right in the head too, and his it's a plasma. It's a plasma shot. Mm -hmm. So Davis is dead. Yeah, okay, I'll see you guys next week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> One oh, shot, Davis. You want to see this in the sands? Maeve just said in, in chat, oh, good, I was afraid Talwin was dead. Oh, never mind. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Save it to the end. All right, well, there goes Davis. Um, Way to risk it like a biscuit, my man. It's cool. What was it I say at the beginning? Terminators fall, you all die? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me, <laughs> I'm going to remove Davis from the, from the turn order. Ugh. That that's awful. Minguez, it's your turn. As I said, Minguez is setting up explosives, so Woof. Oh my god. Okay, Bassett. Oh, you you had to take some willpower points because I think you watched one yeah. of your compatriots die. Yeah, and also, seeing Terminators. I just saw, yeah, I just saw some Terminators. So, let's do this so minus two for the yeah. Terminator. Not for each one. Minus two. Um, but yeah, that would be really fucking awful. Like, yeah, two for him and two for him and two for no. <laughs> facing an army of terminators. I assume that we're well, well technically, we're um, the rest right of the party now. can't see the five terminators down the other end of the hallway, but uh, can. you lose three <laughs> from watching Davis get killed. So total okay, of five. So can we lose? Five. Can we lose? So wait, we wait, wait. Lose do, five. do I auto lose from seeing terminators? I thought it was like a fear save I got to do or something. Uh, no. Fear, fear uh, tests actually uh, do some really bad, bad things because fear tests can remove up to 1d10 minus 4 willpower. So it could remove up to 6 willpower if you if you fail a fear test. So just seeing a Terminator is just an auto too. And also and if you what? feel a, a fail, fail a fear test, you have a minus 1 skill die to every single skill. Also, uh, so, uh, I, I that's that's we're all just losing 5 willpower right now. And once you get below 10 willpower, something happens, doesn't it? Uh, well, yes. Mingus, did, Actually, I think Mingus it's didn't just see uh, Davis's head get blown off, did she? I mean, maybe she's all right. <laughs> Other than the seven Terminators. Uh, so we're all losing that five willpower, yes. wash. I would say yes, all of you. Okay, I'm below 10. Well, I mean, she's You're below 10? Fire go off. All right, so here's yeah. what happens below 10 willpower. Uh, -oh. uh -huh. Okay. What happens below 10 willpower? Um, you are afraid. The effects of fear do not fade after an hour and will instead remain until the character's willpower has risen to 10 or more. That's it. 
So you basically, oh, okay. yeah, at well, this point in time, between so seven and nine, you're fine. Correct. Okay. If you if you fail a fear test between now and whenever, uh, bad things, like super bad. All your all skill right. tests get fucked. It's Can like, it get worse from here? Uh, yeah, we're all going to die. I mean, hey. This is this is going to be a TPK. I see it coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, uh, Mingus will see to that. Yes. Well done. <laughs> Mingus will blow it. Blow the time displacement device. Okay. Um, cool, I guess. Here we go. Question mark? Uh, what Which is, turn is it now? I think, well, I think we're going to start with declar Bassett. declarations again. So we're back at the bottom of the order. Well, I didn't get to do my thing. Bassett. Bassett. I do, I didn't get to go. Yeah. So with me? It's yep. Bassett. I was going to rush to Davis, and, and instead I'll run to Mingus and just be a meat shield for a bit. So Super one, duper. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, God. I, I run so slow. <laughs> God. <laughs> Technically, you shouldn't have run until it's your, your actual turn, uh, Bassett. Is this was your turn? My we're, actual going, turn? we're going back. We all declared. Now we're actually. I, I was the, that was oh, the I'm so sorry. I thought that's correct. You're right. Okay. okay. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Now I'm going to do it again. I'm declaring that I'm going to do that same shit again. Super duper. Minguez, declare. Uh, Minguez will go. Uh, it's now seeing that Davis has got a big hole in his head. Oh, yeah. And he was basically their way out. Does anyone Minguez have will just skills? go. Some people okay, have computer skills, time. I think, right? No. Nobody? No. If <laughs> only Harper was here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Harper didn't have shit. Harper didn't have shit? Harper has demolition. Harper uh, has demolition, not computers. No computers. Well, just remember, you guys can use skills that you're not skilled in, right? You don't yeah, have to have computers. Be as good at it. You're just not going to be as good at it. You'd be like, what am I typing? I can't have the computer. I can't hack because I wasn't listening during session zero. I don't know. Any of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> totally fair. All right. Come on, guys. Let's hurry up and die. I have to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> so I clip that. Holy Please. shit, Sarah. Tell me how you really feel. <laughs> is this like the Dark just, Souls just, of Alien RPG? Uh, yes. Well said, I mean, Maeve. It really kind of is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it's Mingus so is going to aim. Okay. Mingus is going to aim. Super. Yep. Uh, the Terminator, seeing his prey has been terminated, um, will move to the next target, who is Tony. Come on, Tony. All right, Tony is going to shoot at the Terminator that he's aiming at. All right, Tony, go for it. Here we go. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, I'll take the extra skill die success for one more damage. You got it. That's four damage, one armor. It's not going to do any real damage, but one armor. Unfortunately, damage. not. It just, just pings off his armor. It does one armor damage, but not anything more than that. And that's my turn. Okay. Uh, the uh, Terminator atop the balustrade, I guess, at the very top here. It'll move. It's just going to move its rushing speed, like five. And this one, seeing as it's, it's going to do that. All right. You. And Minguez. Mingus is aiming, remember? Yeah. Bassett. So that was. Bassett's gonna rush to Mingus. One, two, three, four, five? I think that's five. Yep, that's five. Wait, I'm sorry, am I declaring it or I'm doing the thing? I'm no, doing the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Cool. And that's the end of the turn. So now Bassett declare. Um, uh, Bassett wheel. Move and aim at Shorty on the south. Alrighty. Mingus? Mingus will shoot at the one at the top. Cool. And Tony? Uh, Tony assumes this Terminator is coming for him. And oh, yeah. He's not happy about that plan. So, one. can you move your... If you if all you're going to do in a turn is move, can you move your close, your rushing and your closing speed in one turn? Or only your No, speed? only your rushing or your closing. Right. Okay, so he's going to move and I'm just going to do it. One, two, three, four, five. He's going to run right across this platform, doesn't care. Six. Okay. And that's his turn. Okay. As you enter this sort of like halo of energy, you feel like your skin like starting to really like like hurt. Like your hair starts to like, f like flare out. 
even though the like the residual energy of what has happened maybe just previously to you getting there um the sort of halo of uh of electromagnetic energy is causing a lot of problems with you and you start to feel like really wigged out that's fair yep. he's already really wigged out oh that's yeah accurate. no doubt no doubt um the terminator seeing as you have moved um, is you gonna just rush at uh, the closest? Who's the closest? Sorry, it's Bassett. Fuck it. It just runs at Bassett. One, two, three, four, five. And now Minguez. Minguez is gonna fire off her plasma pistol that she got, or plasma rifle that she got off the other Terminator. Yep. And I think I'll go burst this time. Good, good, good. Uh, though I, I don't know if I can go burst with this. Plasma rifle. Oh, that one only right. does 10. 10 minimum. Yeah. 10 minimum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Okay. So, target number 10. Oh, didn't put this. Oh. Uh, that is a no bueno. Can I reroll the success? Well, you did go 10, because so you can aim. roll all of the things. <laughs> Remember, you did 10. So, that's full auto, essentially. Nope. Nope. No success. So, brrr, like the just you're you're you just spray and pray. You luckily like, you didn't do like suppressive fire because that would have probably hit Bassett. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been super bad. You just go like ah and like. I for being a meat shield. <laughs> shit. <laughs> um and just plasma just sprays throughout the whole room. All right, Bassett. Keep him with the even with an aim, yeah. Ming Ming Mingus, what's the game plan here? What are we doing, ma'am? Gorched Earth. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. If you're going to do it, just do it. Like I said, I don't. I want to be quick, please. I'll, uh, I'll go... Yeah, I'll go uh, burst a 10 on Shorty on myself here. All right. Here we go. Do it. There we go. What target's 10, right? Uh, yes, target's always 10. Alright. Here we go. Come on now. Mm. Oh. Miss. But you My went, you shaking. went, did you go burst? You said, you said burst, right? Uh, I mean, it's, it's, I did a 10 round burst. Okay, that means that you get to roll all of your, all of your die. 10, 10 round is not a burst, right? So there's three, there's one, three, and 10. Three oh, is a burst and 10 is full auto. Well, great. Nope. God damn it. Can I do it nine more times? Can I do it nine more times? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, you just see it just, like, it takes it. It just, like, it starts to walk, like, in your direction, like, ching, 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 ching. Okay. okay. Declare Bassett. Uh, more of the same until Mingus puts us out of our misery. Okay, Mingus. Declare. Good. You see the Terminators uh, are, like, slowly moving th along the platform. Like, s like seven of them. All, like, naked. Um, in fact, here, let me, let me give you a little visual display here. One. Oh, my God. That, obviously, not to scale, but... A sexy way to die. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I ain't even mad. I ain't even mad. Um, I would say that they would reach you probably in three rounds. So, Mingus. Mingus will just fire without aiming this time. Alrighty. Uh, and she'll say, she'll say to Bassett, there's no way out of this. But we'll fight to our death. Fair enough. Uh, okay. The Terminator down here um, will move its closing speed. It wants to just crush you in its hands. Tony. Use your fucking brains. Jesus. He's running to here. Okay. Fair enough. Um, it is now the Terminator's turn. Uh, the Terminator moved closest to its 
closest target, who is you, Tony, over here. And we'll move closest to one, two, three, four. Oh, right over here. Yeah, perfect. Um, so it just runs at uh, Minguez. Minguez. Yeah. Ow. Minguez, even though she's got a Terminator right next to her, she's holding the detonator in one hand. And just, just so that... Because she knows that the Terminator is probably going to go after her, she's holding out the detonator to Bassett. And oh, she'll geez. still go with firing the weapon at the one chasing after Tony. Okay. Let's hit this time. Yes. Let's hit this time. Another 10 rounds. Jesus, at because... point blank range, too. No, this is the one chasing after Tony. Oh, this is the one chasing after Tony. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, because you can't shoot it. Of course, yeah, range. point blank range, I was going to say. Fire! There you go. There you go. So that's 12 nice. damage. Or hit the arm. Yeah. Red, how do you want to do this? <laughs> just, I want uh, plus two damage. Two, just the two. Damage. Okay, so that's 12 damage. That's a total of six. 14 with its damage. 14. Uh, because minimum, yeah, oh. minimum 12, 12 plus 2 is 14. So minute, so that he does 8 damage. So it, bang, it hits the thing. And uh, it sort of like, just like, just swivels, like looks around and just like glares at you with like just angry red robotic eyes um, as you've done some damage to its armor as well. Not very happy about that. Um, and that, that's it. This might be my first actual death in the game, in, like for, for this channel. Oh my god! Is that true? No, no you killed. So you got. You got Ragnar killed in the in the alien oh, wait, wait, hopes wait, wait, last no, day. Yeah, there's alien. Never mind. Yeah. yeah. Gotta get, we got to make this a, a hat trick. I'm gonna put in like a predator game, and then we'll we'll be all set. Yeah. yeah. And then you've got um Ryder. That's true. Ryder got fucking creamed. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Yeah. I, I think so you're just thinking of um, uh, what was his name? Uh. Oh yeah, so this is my second death. Second death. Yeah. Hey, let's go for the hat trick. All right. Uh, it is now blah blah blah. Bassett, Bassett's declared action. Yep, Bassett. Bassett gets to act. Go for it, Bassett. What do you want to do? Uh, Bassett will take the detonator. <laughs> well, you declare. <laughs> what did you declare on your last turn oh. uh, for this round? What, what the hell did oh. I declare? Oh, I, I think said you were just yeah, gonna I said I'd do this thing. I said I was going to shoot at this thing, but now I'm afraid I'm going to kill Mingus. So, yeah. Do you want to use an auxiliary reaction right. instead? Auxiliary reaction to um, move your yeah, closing I'm distance so you're not right next to it, and then you can shoot. That will work. You can move your closing yeah. distance no matter what. You still might hit Mingus. Yeah, that's yeah. true. I think I, I, want, I want to use my auxiliary reaction and take the detonator on Mingus's hand. Okay. There you go. And then move. And then move. And then move. Good choice. Yeah. That was a smart choice. Okay. Minguez. Yeah. Declare. Minguez. Well, no, Bassett declares. Oh, that was Bassett's Wait, action, yeah. so now Bassett declare. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, no, now next round. Declare. Yeah, next round. It's snake draft. It's so confusing. It is. Yeah. <laughs> um... Bassett will whip around to Tony. What do you mean? Use your brains. I'm I'm out of ideas. What do you want to do? He literally just points at the other computer terminal that doesn't have Terminators near it. Even though there's one coming right after him. <laughs> oh, that's distracted. Oh, uh, I'll try. All right. Uh, Bassett will rush for the Terminator to buy Tony some time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. Computer. To Tony's about to try to hack this one, even though he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. This is great. So. I love it. Hack it with a knife. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I don't <laughs> if at first you don't succeed. <laughs> We're like the Zoolanders. Like, is this it? Am I hacking? <laughs> <laughs> Basically. Kind of what it's going to be. Oh, Amazing. Okay. Um, yeah, fair. Menguez, declare. Minguez is between a rock and a hard place, quite literally. Mm-hmm. But she's going to take a step away from this Terminator towards the other Terminators, which are getting a closer, but 
Oh, oh Jesus. Can do. What are you doing? You're walking towards them? He's distracting him from the rest of the two fighters. Over here! Kill me! I could get killed by one Terminator when I could get killed by seven. Mm, so, hey. <laughs> lots of, uh, lots of dudes walking towards now, you. So. That's true. Like, what's the point? Yeah. So, she's gonna... Fire. Okay. Cool. Um, the Terminator that oh. you just walked away from, it's like, why are you walking away from me? Why, why are you walking away from me? Honestly. Um, so it's gonna... Why are you running? Why are you why running? Are you running? <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, its intent is to grab you by the neck and snap it. <clears throat> so it's going to walk and, uh, you know, punch you potentially right through the sternum. The other Terminator will... I just shot that Terminator, so... I know you will did. Go you really did. Will it go after Tony? Well, these are smart machines. Yeah. I'll make a roll. I'll I'll make the dice decide since I'm do okay. chicken shit to do so. Um, here coward. we go. Coward. I'm a coward. Uh, always have That's been. Fair. Here we go. Um, two goes after Tony. One goes after Mingus. There you go. There I am. All right. Come and take me. <laughs> All right. The T eight hundred series infiltrated unit will shoot at Tony. Tony. Okay. Come on, Tony. All right, Tony's gonna be like. Look, I don't know shit about shit, but we're all going to die anyway, so fuck it. And he's going to try to hack this terminal. All right, well, that I'm sorry. I accidentally did his his first. Tony, go ahead and, and hack first. Oh, this is going to be hilariously terrible. <laughs> How many more Terminators are going to show up right now? It's like you get a success and then, like, eight ten, skill dice right? for some reason. Uh, it is a ten. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> I oh, fucking succeeded. succeed. I don't... I rolled a net Holy 10. shit! Unbelievable! Oh my god. You're in. I might yeah. die in a minute, but uh, you hacked. You hacked the system. You're in. So I might as well just show you guys what You're it in is. The that... mainframe. Here it is. Sucks, I had like a Let me. Two Jesus plus six. You had a two plus six. <laughs> and you fucking didn't do it. All right. So this is the this is the this is the system here. Let me show you what exactly what what you missed. Unfortunately. Um, so as you can oh see, this is a god. very complicated system here. I was so ready to do this. I know. Fuck. I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm going to put Tony here instead, oh though. God. Just going to uh, move aside here, Davis. I, like, way in. You, you can I be roll like, the, 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 the No, I you go, can choose or? because you succeeded. Oh, okay. So which which uh, node Davis do you want to start along at? Along the way. Where? I'm looking to see what these things do. X, Honestly, right now, we blue need X is the time displacement. The blue X is the time yeah, displacement. Know, this T right here is the turrets that might help us There not are die. turrets. So I'm going to go for this guy up here. I'm Which one? One to two? two? All right. Tony moves. God. And NetSec probably has locked down a few of these nodes by now. Um, I would say NetSec, uh, as soon as as soon as Tony died, uh, sorry, as soon as Davis died, NetSec went back to normal because NetSec was like, oh, threat has been just has been Metrified. eliminated. <laughs> so Netsec is back to normal and has not been... There's only uh, a grin on their team. Yes, exactly. <laughs> right, so that's, so mean, Tony has hacked. That I succeeded, that is magical. Amazing. Fucking, right. you, you, know, you can't you can't get better than that. Okay. All right. Let's move it on back. Uh, the Terminator did in fact hit you uh, doing shit. A lot of damage, unfortunately. Uh, that is seven, 17 damage, AD4. Okay, well, I'll take that AD4, but I am going to use two points of, uh, hope points of body for, oh, wait. Yeah, you have a feat, oh, right? Sh no, I was looking, oh, damn, I think I read that wrong. I thought that... Oh, I thought it's only a flesh wound, but that's only if the damage inflicts a wound. It didn't inflict a wound. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Then I can't use that. Damn it. Well, actually, technically, um, it did It did hit, It did inflict a wound because it hit you in the head. Okay. Well, in that case, I'm going to spend two points on it's only a flesh wound. And what does that do? A uh, character manages to somehow avoid damage that looked to end them. This feat may be used after receiving damage that inflicts a wound. The wound is ignored, and regardless of the damage inflicted, the character loses just one hit point. Motherfucker! Amazing. Oh, this feat may not be used to reduce damage that would otherwise kill the character. It didn't kill you. Would it have killed you? It, it was going to do 17 damage to me? Yeah. 
wasn't wait it was minus my armor, armor. Oh, minus know. your armor minus my, yeah my, oh it wouldn't have killed there me. you go <laughs> there you go <laughs> i take one i take one damage mother fuck. amazing i didn't i was no hoping bell. i i was hoping i would get to use that well you did congratulations nice half orc awesome. relentless endurance <laughs> shit right there you can yeah, you, now i just need to now i just need to roll um, the most amazing fucking computers for real uh f's story. in chat by the way for davis <laughs> who sacrificed his life so that tony could get uh, it's only a flesh wound f's in chat <laughs> <laughs> super oh, <laughs> all right that was to, uh that okay. was the terminator's turn uh Minguez. oh and i have to i have to take that off my resistance of my armor um oh sorry this other terminator is going after you Minguez. how can i forget that guy yeah yeah so he's yeah. gonna try to punch you in the face or punch your face oh Mm. Well, let's see it. Uh, bang, bang, boom. There you go. That is Jesus. I am rolling like a goddamn champ with these Terminators tonight, folks. All I gotta say. Okay. Good, good for you. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. That is. Uh, headshots from the Terminators. Well, that's because oh, that's... of all the skill die successes. Oh, these guys are no joke. You don't fuck with a Terminator, bad. like honestly. All right, so that is 15 well, damage. AD1. I have 15 health left. But you have AD1? Yep. How much How much yes. armor penetration do you have? Armor armor uh, uh, PV? I still have four protection, so I'm up by four. You're up by four. And your AD yep. is down by one. One. Yep. So, so bam, hits you right in the head. You're stunned. Again. Yeah, this time you're <laughs> stunned. Oh, shit. And, yep. which means you have a minus one to all your skill rolls. Yeah. Mo. All right. Uh, now it is your turn, Minguez. Okay. Nope. So, in that Punch case... Him <laughs> Punch him <Or> back. Uh, <laughs> what? Could I use a hope point? Could you use a hope point? For what? Uh, Winning. Sure. Yes. No. <laughs> you can see that the... You can see that this is not going well, especially for her. Sure. But she's wanting to make sure that the rest of the party can survive as much as possible. Yes. Tell me so what. Tell just me just. Just give me it to give it to me plain. What do you want to use it on? Body brain or bravado? Uh, uh, it's a bravado, but I've only got one skill point in bravado. That's okay. So, can I still use that? You can use it on any of the cost. Yeah. The, yeah. What's the cost? The, okay. Yeah. The hope. The hope thing costs one, yeah. Yeah, so your uh, charming smile, come and get it, or lead from the front. I was going to think come and get it, because she wants to bring everyone towards her. So oh, my God. It goes away from everyone else. So the bravest act is one that puts yourself in the line of fire for the benefit of others. Use this feat during combat after all combatants have declared their actions, which they have. Any opposing combatants that have selected to attack during this round must direct their attacks towards this character. If they're out of range, they will instead move or charge towards this character. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Amazing. Okay. Yeah. Wouldn't that, mean I, that would technically mean that I wouldn't get hit at all if he had, because that would be declared. Yeah, that's for this round. This is it's for, this round. for this yeah. round. That's this round, not the previous round. Yeah. Well, oh, you're declaring a new action. I thought you were fulfilling your action. Yeah, I thought no. this was you're moving back down the order. No. But I didn't declare, so how can you be? Yeah, declared? last yeah. round it was um, she fired. So why don't you do this action time. and then use your bravado in the next round? Yeah, that's the. Yeah, yeah, yeah this is the declared action for this round. But our uh, last round is was oh, okay, uh, not okay, the okay, Terminator. Okay. okay. Gotcha. So, I'm that, that's my declared that. action. Cool. For this round. But Bassett didn't declare hers, so go ahead, Bassett. Uh, Bastel rushes other Terminator to I, try and buy Tony a little bit. I'm time. sorry, I'm confused because I hacked and then I got shot. That's correct. Like we were we were going back down through the declared actions of that round, yeah. which means that we still have a declared action from Bassett and a declared action from Bassett before we start declaring. You're again. absolutely they right. To, You're to, absolutely right. You're absolutely right. So Minguez, yeah. did you do anything? Um. Well, I'm stunned. I can't. That's right. So, well, you can do things, right? You just have a minus one of your skill rolls. Yeah. It's a yeah, different, it's not D&D stuff. Yeah, you're not like, Ugh. Yeah. Well, in that case, I think she'll still use that. 
After getting shot, she was like, "Come fucking!" <laughs> right, but what are you doing? Fucking nothing. Okay, nothing. Can't. Fine. Bass it. Can't move because no. I don't. You I can don't move your closing speed. Terminator in front of you. You can yeah. move your closing speed when you're stuck. But well, technically, she can't move because yeah, they are other Terminators That's on fine. the other side. All right, so we'll skip you for right now, Miguez Bassett. What is it that you are doing now, right? Because it's your before you I go into the next round. The Terminator. Yep. 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 I was one, two, three, four. Five. There you go. All right. Hey, look, 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 over here. All right. Superb. Now we're declaring. Next round. <laughs> uh, yeah. okay. Hi. Hi. I'll, I'll full auto blast. Oh my God. Right in its face. I love it. Okay. Now, <laughs> Minguez, declare. I'm assuming you're doing come get it. Yep. Superb. The Terminator will turn at um, Minguez and start to walk towards Minguez because he's been, he's been taunted. <laughs> Well, uh, is it all Terminators? Or all Terminators within range. Mm -hmm. All of them. Well, what, what range is the question? I would say within the range of your voice. Just let him say it, for fuck's sake. It's everybody. <laughs> he said it. Move on. Tony. Hacking. Hacking. All right. Let's start with Tony. Hackity, hackity, hackity. Oh, Do your boy. computer skills. Dear God. <laughs> Zero successes. <laughs> Fuck, that's a, a super that failure. Okay. Yeah, it's an epic fail. That's an epic, epic fail, which that's means... Probably everything, that now that I'm in the system, is going to be an epic fail. This is probably a terrible idea. But well... I've heard it's a turn on us. <laughs> I tried. Had to try. <laughs> well, here's the thing. NetSec is unfortunately activated. And um, on its turn, it will burn a node. Which means that everything around it gets burned. So back to, yes. back to the subroutine map here, real quick. Um, so mm -hmm. I'm just gonna sort of scribble it out with red as to what happens. So it, it gets activated, burns this node. That's it for right now. All right. No successes. All right. Uh, that's that's yeah. the that's the hacking, unfortunately. All right. Back to the time machine. <laughs> um, this Terminator will ignore you entirely, Bassett, and just move. It's it sort of runs directly at. Uh, at Iminguez. This guy, however, will try to punch Bassett in the face. Why? What did I do? Did I say Bassett? I meant to say Bingus. I'm looking at Bassett, I say Mingus. I look at Bingus, I say Bassett. You guys have to have better names. That's all I have to say. We're the, we're twins. You really are. I okay. Um, okay, here we go. Punchity, punchity. Oh, man. Oh. That is a lot of damage. He's not even here for the end of Mingus. I mean. Oh, he left? He's gone. <laughs> oh, wait. I shall wait until he returns. Be like, hey, guess what happened while you were gone? Yeah. You saved the day. But. Everyone saved. Just kidding. You fucking did. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Davis, do you want to take this damage instead? Here he comes. Everybody. On three. On three. One, two, three. You're, You're dead. No, I'm just kidding. Minguez, take a look here. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, that's a 14. Sorry, 16. No, that's 15 damage. You remember your health? Yeah. Yeah, what about the health? Yeah. yeah. Health. You remember your character? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was just thinking, um, just, uh, you get the Bioshock vibes, and oh, God. Mingus is just do doing the um, Andrew Ryan thing of a, s <laughs> a man chooses a slave obeys. I see. Obey. Okay, I get it. Uh, yeah, the Terminator basically just it just impales you with its fist, <laughs> right up through the rib cage, out the other side, <sighs> retracts its fist, and then turns towards its nearest target, who is Bassett. Minguez uh, is down. Don't forget to fuck up my willpower. What is happening with my willpower? Oh, yeah, you uh, lose another three willpower. Three. Three. What does six bring me down to? Oh. I am petrified. Oh, I'm God. I'm hacking and didn't see their <laughs> I'm glad. Uh, yes, petrified. Let's figure out what it is that petrified does. Right, I suffer minus one cool. That's okay. I'm tremendously cool. You are so cool. Uh, I don't know. 
flees and must take a run or break off action on their turn. Oh, oh no! no. I'm, a I'm a coward. Damn it. Well, you are scared. We still got the detonator. Yes, you still have the detonator. detonator. This did not turn out as well as I thought turn? it was. Um, well, technically, uh, let's see. Let me just drop Mingus out of the, uh, out of the turn order here. Bye bye. <laughs> Sorry, Mingus. Um, yes, technically it is Bassett's turn. Yeah. Fuck! Tony, you're in charge now. Fuck! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's great. We're um, all what's... fucking screwed. Is make a run the same thing as rushing? Like, what's my distance for running? I would say yes. Five. Okay. So I'm gonna, just gonna run, run towards Tony and cool. try and hide behind him because now I'm a coward. All right. One thing I had going for me, and I've lost it. All right, the Terminator will just slowly, both of them, they will slowly, inexorably walk towards you. They've got you. They don't need to. They don't need to fucking do anything at this point in time. So they're just gonna walk towards you. The other Terminators backing them up. So there are in total nine Terminators: seven in flesh, two completely under skeletons, and they're just moving their speed too. So, Tony. Uh, just because I don't want this thing to go any yeah. further than it already is. I'm going to give you two more rounds to do something cool. Bassett, I'm going to give you two more rounds to do something cool. The T-800s aren't going to shoot at you. They're just going to walk towards you. If they get within two rounds of you, that's the end. Man, I can Benny heal this shit all day. <laughs> I mean, does, uh, does Bassett have to run for every round? No, just one round. Or just that first one? I'll just say, yeah. All right. Oh, wait, so Bassett declared and then did the thing. Oh, yeah, so Bassett, back up. I haven't... Again? Well, you know, because you declared. Oh, yeah. no, because you know why she, she did the declared? thing? She did the thing because she's in, like, she's frightened, so she had to run on her oh, turn. Oh, okay. She had... I, yeah, but that was... She moved already, but didn't... Oh, that's right. You know what, Bassett, yeah, on so your turn... my last turn. Yeah, you can't yeah. actually... You can't actually run yet. So, that's fine. So you declared well, was, that you're going to well, run. Well, that was my... We were going through the actions. Right. So I hadn't taken a turn yet, so that took my last turn. So oh, now okay. we're on declaring. Right on, right on, right on. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Now hey, Raid, what's happening? Okay. Thanks for coming. We're catching just the hey! end of our of our amazing this extravaganza. Of... All yes, this is this is the... I hope y'all are in the mood for TPK. This is the super TPK of <laughs> Terminator it's RPG. It's where coming. Two out of it our four people so have coming. died. Uh, horrible, it's gruesome deaths. And Terminators and the are... person with uh, a two knowledge and no computer skills is trying to hack the system right now. <laughs> well, a lot of this, a lot of that. Oh, this is like this All is right. not even two fingers. This is one finger. I mean, if one person <laughs> survives, then it's not a TPK. Just saying. Like I said, I can I can run circles on this all day. Here yeah. we go. All right. Um, Bassett declares that he will. Yes. Suppress and fire. Okay. Tony, yeah. hack it. Tony's gonna try to hack this fucking Start it, Tony. Let's go. <laughs> We're gonna bring it back to the hacking screen. God help you. Does he get any kind of advantage nope. with my suppressing fire that he can well, focus zero, that... one skill success. Does that mean I get to move a square? Um, let me see. I'm pretty sure that without a success, it doesn't... Excuse me, it doesn't do anything. Let me double check on hacking here. Um, successes oh, rolled on one. tests will progress you. Okay, so yeah, I'm still just sitting on this. That is there. a diminished effect, right? So it's a it's a, it's not a serious failure. Um, net sex subroutine is triggered. So instead of double burning nodes, it just single burns a node. Because if you had a serious failure, it would double burn. It would burn, burn. Yeah. Now instead, it just burns like just one node to the side and one node to the side. So it goes bleh and bleh. That's it. Right? All right, well, that was my, that was my turn. God damn. One this more is... round to save humanity, Tony. Come on. No pressure, really, honestly. No pressure. No pressure, but literally all of humanity is in your hands right now. <laughs> Actually, it's all in yours. Bassett, do your thing. <sighs> okay. Spit it all over Rosic my microphone. Fire. <laughs> you, if you do suppressing fire, you'll hit the two Terminators, like both of them, if you succeed. Great. Can I preemptively throw fate points on top of that or no? No. Fate points is only a reaction, right. so to speak. All right, fine. Fine. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. Mm -hmm. 
No. Fade point time. Fade point time. Did I scare? Wait, fade. I'm gonna use my last fade point. Use your Here last fade point. Here we go. We roll it all. Mm -hmm. Come on, that's it. Roll it all, it, roll it, it all. Let's roll, 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 like, it just can't take oh, the hail of fire. It's just like, ting, 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 ting. And, like, the, one of the Terminator's leg just, it cracks. Just because it's a lot of damage to take in one shot. Um, right. And so, like, it's sort of, like, limping across the ground. The other one is unaffected. I mean, it's it's been hit, but it's not, it doesn't get the, it's leg blown out. That's I... worth a hype train. Thanks, y'all. Woot! Thank you for the hype train. Yay! I, I made a mistake. You made a mistake, <laughs> Davis? How did you make a mistake? Yeah. What was your mistake? I, I had... I have an ability. <gasps> what was your ability that you that you didn't read about? Uh, I'm gonna copy and pasta. Do it. <laughs> oh, here we go. It is... An engineer may re-roll any or all when they spend a point of fate during a technical skill roll. This replaces the usual re-rolling... Oh, dude. Can he legacy gift that on to Tony from, from the great beyond? I will do that. I will allow that. Davis? <laughs> nice. Do you want to give your technical-minded uh, ability to, to Tony for the next hacking sure. roll? Super. Sure. All right. Yeah. Oh, boy. Da you remember long ago where Davis and Tony I, were I like, no, this is I, how you hack a computer. I have no fate points to spend. Uh, yeah, but he did. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So okay. he's going to sort of give you that fate point in, in advance. He's going to gift me a fate, fate point, point from the grave. For real. Nice. Grave point. Okay. Um, so yeah, we're back down to the bottom here. Bassett, quickly now. Last round. Last last round or like last round? This is the last round. You Remember I gave you two rounds? Up I fail. Yeah, you could just hit the button and blow the whole place. There's a set, and the Terminators are probably right over those charges at the moment. I would say they are. It would destroy the entire facility. All right, Tony. I got your back if we don't get this done all right. Yeah, well, at least it won't be a meat suit. There all right, go. here we go. Oh, I was on the bright side. Scorched earth. Scorched earth. Tony, hacking? Hacking? Hacking with fail. advantage. That was a fail. I'm gonna re-roll everything. Duh. Nope. Nothing. You well. just see like access denied. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're this is this is what's happening right now. Actually, no. At this point, he's just fucking pounding at it with his gets his knife out. <laughs> yeah. Hack Hacking this with motherfucker. Knife. Hack, hack, hack. Hackity, that's hackity, hacker. That's exactly what happened. He fails one more time and he just like, fuck. Slams his knife down into the console, turns to Bassett and says, fucking do it. All right. All right. The T-800 closes in on your position. Slowly but surely, inexorably, you hear its, its uh, servos scraping across the floor. Well... Tony, it's been an honor serving at your side. Hey, well. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no last word for you. <laughs> Damn. That's, Tony didn't have anything useful to say anyway. What do you do, Bassett? Set up hit the button. button. All right. Um, you hit the button. And at first, you're like... <clears throat> And then nothing happens. Oh, well, You're like, what the f And like right in the middle of your what the fuck, you just hear, and there is a brilliant white light as you are both enveloped in this enormous explosion, which levels the entire facility. And yeah.
that's um that's what happens one, in this mark. yeah that's what happens in <laughs> this so this is the this is the rogue one ending this is the total rogue one ending but as an epilogue that's what happens in this time displacement facility on the other side of los angeles um a lone figure steps into a hazy light and he is naked his body is covered crisscrossed with scars and his right arm has a barcode on it. And he sort of nods to um, a grizzled figure who stands by a control panel. Uh, this figure has like a, a crisscross, a, a hash of scars across his eye. And he says, don't forget what I told you. No fate but what we make. And this figure kneels down on the platform. And the whir of arcane machinery comes to life. And there is a brilliant blue orb that envelops this individual as he sort of floats in the air. And electric beams start to flash out of it, enveloping the entire room. And then he is gone. And that is where we end our story tonight. Oh, shit. So good. So good. Thank you, Matthew. Even Thank you, everybody. Um, you all made tonight's the Terminator RPG one shot, literal. So good. So so yeah. much fun. So cool. Um, yeah. Mm. Sorry, did Davis. You win? <laughs> did you win? So Question bad. mark. I don't know. Did we do it? <laughs> did you get? Did, yes, you all win a prize. You win the. Yay. You all got the killed point. by Skynet prize. The real friendship was the prizes we made along the way. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I love that people like started to redeem potions of healing during that during that thing. <laughs> Everyone's like, here, have a potion. Take a potion. Take, take a call. Anything. Anything. <laughs> Anything. We were can, I, can I phone a friend? Can I? <laughs> so good. Oh, I, man. I still can't believe I got into that computer. I fully expected him to just like utterly fail and turn around and but like, you I guess guys, I'm try and stab shit. You guys saw how complicated that 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 whole like oh, algorithm yeah. was gonna be. That's why I didn't oh, listen yeah. in session zero. Yeah. 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 Fair. That's totally understandable. <laughs> Ash, there's, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Scepter, you think you would have been able to, to make it all the way to the, uh, to the time, time machine thingy dingy? He could. Yeah. He probably could. You know, could've. I could have. It's just, I completely blanked out on the whole technical mind thing. Oh. It could have been played out entirely different. So, what does this I had... teach you, Scepter? What does this teach you? Pay attention. Okay. Sorry, I wasn't paying. What? I mean, <laughs> what was the issue? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my. It's too late. Uh, it's too late, Scepter. It's too late. All right. That's fine. Yeah. We are done for the... I, mean, uh, I Go ahead. I, for this, I still enjoy the game regardless. It's a fun game. It's... it's Look, it, it's very bleak. Uh, just imagine what happens like when you actually get to a point where you're not using plasma weapons against these fucking guys. Wait. So... Matt, I, I never do it? was using a plasma. That's true. Matt, can I do it? Okay. Hold on. Yeah. Let me just put up my, my special music that I had planned specifically for this, Ashley. Go ahead. There you go, Sarah. Sarah, of all the Sarahs, Sarah Connors, <laughs> all over the world. Um, Ashley, since you have been so kind as to grace us from your amazing channel, Mates of Fate. Yeah. And all the amazing viewers who, who joined us, thank you so much, by the way, for, for joining us here on Slices and Dices. This has been the Terminator RPG from Nightfall Games, which uh, has been kickstarted. Um, so join in on the fun. It's super It's super fun. It's super easy to, to sort of get into once you get through the rules. And yeah, this this quick start actually makes it pretty fun to do. And uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, Ashley, would you like to bring us out? 
Now with the music, I feel bad fucking it up on purpose. <laughs> now I feel like I shouldn't fuck it up on purpose. I mean, it's up to you. I don't know, I'm gonna do it anyway. Listen, like we always say here on Slices and Dices, don't forget to fuck each other. But more importantly, don't forget to fuck yourself. Thank you so much for watching everybody tonight. Did I do it? Oh, you did. You did something. Did nail you nailed it. You nailed it right on the right on the head. So this is my last one shot on slices and dices. We'll 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 have to All talk. Right, that's fine. We'll have to talk. That's fine. We'll, we'll talk. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Uh, good night, everybody. Uh, we love you. you. We did. really do. This is what you did to me, Ash. You, you broke you broke my heart. It's destroyed. It's destroyed. So I can come back. Maybe. We'll talk, love Ashley. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you for watching. We'll see you guys. We'll see you guys soon. I can't even talk anymore. It must have been that procedure. <laughs> the, have a good one. The TPK. Yeah, the TPK. It's, you know, it wasn't a TPK for the Terminators. Or was it? We knew we signed up. <laughs> Bye, everybody.